dun, 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 dun. Mortal Kombat. Oh, I have to turn my lights on. I got no lights on. What am I doing? It's day one over here. Day one operation. Can't see anything. I can't see anything. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, Go World? It's me, your boy, JDZ. And I'm back at you with another GOAT format dueling stream. We got another rare and indigenous Friday stream. They don't happen too often. They don't happen too often. But it's something that we just wanted to do really quick. When you have time available, it's something that we always like to give it up and try to do. Okay, okay. So it should be starting here very soon. It's not going to be a very big tournament. It's just going to be a small little local gathering of love. And maybe, maybe I can hop on in and play. Hold Hold for a second. I'll be right back. Maybe, maybe the it's sign up signups are still open right now. So if you are interested in playing, if you want to get into this tournament, you are free to do that. It is completely free to enter. There is no cost associated with playing. All you have to do is say right now, I want to play, join the discord and get in and play. And we're going to, we're going to rock and roll. So you guys still have time. We'll hold those open just for a little bit longer. So more people can get in, but if you want to play, the tournament is opening right now and you can hop on in and play. Yo, yo, yo. All right. All right. Let me get this thing sorted. <sighs> do, 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 do. So glad I entered the goat family two months ago and I found this channel. Yo, come on in and, and come on in and play. You can play right now. The tournament is about to start. The tournament is about to begin and it is a Friday Nitro Circus. Okay. If you don't know what that is, a Friday Nitro Circus is a free to enter event. If you play and you win and you're playing a deck that's goo or considered spice, then you're going to have the opportunity to win a free Discord Nitro courtesy of me, your boy JDZ. So that's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to give it up. Oh, my screen's all jacked up, man. You guys didn't even tell me my screen's all jacked up. My screen's all jacked up. And there we go. All right. All right. All right. So that's how we're going to, that's how we're going to do that. Let's hold, let's hold the bait. Clay, are you playing? Are you playing, Clay? Are you going to be in? How do you enter? All you have to do is go into the goformat.com Discord. It is completely free to enter Discord. And I got double chats open again. I don't know why that keeps happening, folks. I don't know why the double chat thing keeps happening. So let Bluetooth, if you're hearing me, let's not start it just yet. Let's see if we can get a couple of other duelists in there. Right now, it's it's double elimination. But if it goes higher than 16 people, we're going to drop it down to single elimination. All right, so let's fix the chat. YouTube chat is bugged out so let's fix that easy fix easy claps got that nailed and then uh we're gonna we're gonna hop in so i'm gonna give it bluetooth don't start it yet just give it a few more minutes and let some duelists hop in if they elect to do that the discord link should be in the description you can get into the discord and then you can join this tournament just follow the prompts and uh tag me there and i can get you in there my name is also jdz in the discord all right all right all right so here we go my name is also jdz in the discord you guys are more than welcome to get in and play and participate as much as you want like i said if we go over 16 people we're doing single elimination. So that's just how it's going to be. But anything less than 16 people, we're going to do double elimination and get it done and get it cracking. All right, Bluetooth. How are we looking? How are we looking? Is everybody in that wants to play? Is everybody in that wants to play? Is everyone in the tournament that will like to play? It's uh, like 7 p.m. Friday. Hold on. How do you enter? Yeah, like I said, just get into the Discord. Go take your... Uh, maybe we should do a how to how to Discord for... Uh, and the Discord link is not even in the damn thing. I lied. The Discord link is not even in the description. I am a freaking liar. Okay, let me fix that. Let me fix that. I will go ahead and add the Discord link. I will copy it here. And then I will paste it into the YouTube comment section. Bluetooth, don't start yet. Don't, don't fire Don't fire just yet. We still have literally two minutes. But let's see if we can get people here from the YouTube world that want to get into the goat world. There is the link to the discord. Just click the channel that says 7 PM Friday, and then you can get that. I'll join, uh, I'll, yeah, here, here's a, here's the discord. Okay. I just, I just posted it right there. Uh, just click that link. It'll take you to the discord. Go to the channel that says, um, Friday uh, tournament. It says tournaments, click on the one that says Friday tournaments, and then hop in there and follow the instructions from the bot and we'll get you in. Okay. Once you get in, I think we're good to, we're good to start. Okay. Okay. How are we looking? How are we looking? How are we looking? I've never played in one of these before and I'm nervous. It's no, you shouldn't be nervous. This is, this is this, if you're going to start, if you're going to start in any type of online event, this is probably the safest, easiest, 
most you know less stressful one that you could ever potentially think about joining so this is the if you're if you're stressful about playing in a, in a tournament this is the one that you should be the least stressed out about because it is uh it's all for fun it's all just for it there's really nothing on the there's really nothing on the stakes about it like crazy you know it's free to enter you're not losing anything you know it's 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 literally it's literally, it's literally just vibes man so you can get in there and have a good time with it all right, all right, all right. Thought on spell counter deck. Load it up for this tournament and give it a shot. Throw them in there. Throw the spell counters in there. Armored EXE and everything. Put them all in your deck and get in there. A spell counter deck, I don't think it can work, though, competitively. I think it just, it just doesn't have enough cards. There's not enough support. They need some support, man. They need a little bit more support for the spell counter strat. I think uh, spell, van not spell vanishing, but what's that, what's that uh, power, pitch black power stone and dark, skill dark magician and breaker and apprentice magician it just ain't enough dude when i sork your ass dude you're gonna be forgetting about all the spell counts so it just it's just not enough but i think i mean shoot if you can do it you can do it if you can believe it you can achieve it and if you want to be the spell counter guy you can be the spell counter guy and it can potentially work out all right all right all right so how we looking how we looking tooth how we looking how we looking let me text in there yo 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 how are we looking let's rock and roll let us rock and let us roll. How are we looking? How are we looking? I think we're looking pretty good. We're about to fire this thing off. Should I play? I can hop in there and play. Hello from Ireland. Hello, Yugi, Yu-Gi-Oh! Italia and Italy and Ireland. We're kicking it. We're kicking it all across the GOAT format dueling world this evening. And like I said, this is, these Friday streams, we don't, um, it's, they, the tournaments typically aren't very big. And it's not like the most popular thing in the world to do. But it's something that we like to do whenever we have time available. And today, we just so happen to have time available. And we got the GOAT format world championship coming up. And it's a lot of stuff. A lot of people had a lot of questions about that particular event. So I'll be here. I'll be able to ask uh, more questions about that. If you have more uh, GOAT format related world championship questions, we can talk about that. We're going to do another uh, meeting tomorrow with some of the administrative staff to kind of really hammer home some of the GOAT format world championship stuff. So get those concerns out now while you can, and then we're going to keep it, keep it rocking. We're going to keep it pushing. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Are we ready? Are we ready? Did we start? Are we, are we, are we ready to start? Did you get in? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Um, at Bluetooth, I'm going to text Bluetooth real quick. Did you hit the start? All right. Did we hit the start? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And chill. Cool and chill. All right, let's do it. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, I'll get the next one. I won't play in this one. I'll get the next one. But looking at the bracket, we got exactly 16, which is perfect for what I wanted. We got literally the amount of people that I want to play was exactly 16. I love perfect brackets. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it was, maybe something about it, but okay. I'll pull the bracket up so you guys can take a quick sneak peek of who is participating in this goat format dueling event. We have 16 duels on this Friday night, Friday night locals vibe is what we're going for. All about vibes over here. Undefined just off the top. OG beachy, Nosa return winner, clay vision, hero man, grace, Arturo Vingali. Pui is in the building. I'd sue. Splevin Nova Ethos. I swear I'm starting to stream right there, folks, by the way. If you didn't know, Splevin and Nova Ethos, we're going to crack this bad boy off. And Rick Saw, Nate Dog, Cosmo Lax, and Not So Fast. Cool players in here, too, man. It's some good, some good Yu Gi Oh! duelists showed up at the very last minute to put us at a cool, crisp 16. And we're going to start this bad boy off with a good homie, Nova Ethos. I keep wanting to get Nova to come by the program, but my timeline and his timeline just have not been lining up, man. It just has not been lining up, but I want. I want to play i want to get nova to come by the channel because he's got a great take on the goat format game he plays really cool decks he's a cool human being and i think it'll be nice and splevin is also really cool he's my teammate and good friend so this is going to be a good one i'm expecting to see the heat nova coming out with the trap dust shoot and the mystic tomato to start this bad boy off so i'm feeling i'm feeling good about it i think it's going to be a good little a good little lean tournament to start this uh to start your weekend off so hopefully you know what i'm saying you guys all had a fantastic dueling week hopefully your work wasn't too bad hopefully everything was not stressed out and stressful and full of full of hate and vitriol you had a nice clean cl nice clean week and now you're here almost to the weekend and we're gonna keep it cracking all right so let me fix my i gotta fix hold on give me a sec i gotta fix a couple more things and then i'll be ready to uh i'll be ready to start
Got that going. And then now I can go back to being a, a one monitor pimping over here. Go back to my one monitor pimping over here. Cool, 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 cool. Um, Clavin says, is this, this is a surprisingly stacked weekly. It comes when, when the circus is in town, man, people come through, people want to come through and represent the spice. You know, we got a lot of spice, a lot of spice aficionados in this tournament. Shout out to uh, Nova ethos. I believe he started. I don't know if he wants to put, wants me to put that information out there yet about the goo syndicate, about the spice, the, the spice syndicate, the, the spice syndicate is underway. We already had the goo cup series two. The second version of the, it's such a cool idea, man. I can't, I can't tell you enough how of a cool idea I think that is that you have duelists who are dedicating their time to playing creative decks so much so that they created an entire tournament series for it. I think that's really, really neat. So maybe I can get Nova to come by and talk more about that. Do y'all do this every Friday, every Friday, every single Friday, there are going to be two tournaments, two free to enter tournaments, but there aren't always going to be on stream. I stream them whenever I can. And when I do stream, I like to call them the nitro circus. Okay. The circus is in town, meaning that if you come in and you're playing a very interesting and unique deck, you're playing some goo, you're playing some spice, then you're going to get an additional award on top of your winning the event. So each, each Friday win counts as a, a goat grinder invitational. Uh, you win the goat grinder invitational, then you get invited to the goat. Or you, you win a goat grinder, you win a Friday, and then you get invited to the goat grinder invitational, which um, which in turn lets you get an invitation to go for my world championship. So there are some stakes, but if you win with spice on a on a circus day, you get an additional discord nitro. So that's uh, that's just something, something cool to do to keep people playing and having some fun and trying some unique strategies because this game can become very competitive. Oh my goodness, as by Zuda Soul Eater with the tomato deck, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it already. I'm feeling it, dude. The Bazoo, the Soul Eater in the tur in the in the in the tomato deck, I should say, as you're gonna get a Bazoo return he's at 2200 and the dead wombat is looking look, looking supple but maybe we might get a maybe we might get a crash and pop attack direct nudori is lit oh no he didn't go for it he didn't go for the crash pop line maybe he has some ideas of what that set mon could be but i would totally slam that nudori right into that dead wombat pop that set and then you're eating 22 and just like that you get walled out so i think that is a slight sequencing error coming in from that blue corner player but you know what is going Gonna be what it is as the Gaku Gire is going to wall the new Doria. How often have you seen that? How often have you seen that? You know, not many, not many times have you seen a play like that go down. But now the panda is very bulky, able to clean up even the strongest Bazu Soul Eater five. Eight, yeah, it gets a look, gets a little feel boost based on the amount of monsters that they have. As uh, Nab as JDZ, I just got home from work when we were seeing some go cards. Couldn't think of a better way to start the weekend. That's what I'm talking about, Nab. That's what I'm talking about. Couldn't think of a better way to fire off this weekend with a goat format Yu Gi Oh dueling situation. As uh, now you still have this panda in attack position, you can take a new Doria challenge now if you felt so inclined. Take a little bit of chip damage and go after this set, but Splevin's not a fool you know maybe he's trying to coat you coax coax you into doing just a thing as zaborg the thunder monarch is going to hit the field into attack position popping another set panda and then now you're able to freely attack over second copy of panda and then punch on in with 1200 direct go go splevin says jk kid one one three four rooting for splevin splevin's a dope player very underrated very slept on Yu-Gi-Oh duelist i would say Splevin doesn't get his flowers or just desserts. You know what I'm saying? He literally has, uh, I believe he has three invites to the, no, I think he has two, two invites. He has several invites to the Go For Matt World Championship and gets no love as we're going to search for the cannon soldier. What is Nova cooking over here? What is Nova cooking? Is this the grand? No, this is not the grand. I am so stupid. I'm sorry. Let me change my, uh, let me change my, my crap. That's what I was working on. I got distracted. This is not, this is actually round number one. This is not the grand finals at all. So I got to give me a sec. I will update that to fix it. I will fix this post haste. You know what I'm saying? My, my stream labs just sometimes is in revolt, man. This is not the grand finals. This is not the grand finals. This is round one. Actually, this is the opposite of the grand finals. This is, uh, this is round. Boop. If it wants to pop up, like, what are you doing, bro? Where you at, bro? Round. Okay. Not six. What the hell? Round number one. 
is that a one there we go yeah we'll roll with that this is round number one so let's get this back on up off the screen let's go yo what happened oh pj arts of darkness with the two man pj with the two that classic pj too man pj with the two dollars canadian every time man every time with the two dollars with your with your donation of two dollars canadian that is how i'm able to afford this disco discord nitro that i'm giving out as a prize today so we gotta shout out pj arts of darkness for your two dollars canadian i love it man much love thank you so much tom says i just taught my locals tuning in on the train home to unwind you just topped you need to get the dub we need dubs over here no more tops we need dubs okay big win tom next time you get on there and you get the dub what'd you play what'd you what, what deck did you use at your at your locals today as spirit reaper is going to get on in and tickle the hand of splevin who is going to lose a rescue cat el rescue gato splevin's playing a, nova's playing a pretty cool deck splevin's got some heat over there too so it's 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 uh it's looking pretty it's looking pretty grim though a little bit for that red corner plan looks looks to be the combo cat deck but you can't really combo or cat sitting behind these swords of revealing light staring down one set back row the reaper poised in attack position and nudoria belongs side it got a tomato i haven't seen a tomato deck in a minute dude this deck's going stupid this deck's going dumb with the tomatoes in there tom says i play modern but one with branded chimera retrains of yugi's classic mod. i've heard of the branded deck i've heard of the branded deck i heard that deck's pretty cool the branded cards they look cool I think they look cool. They're 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 neat looking. I don't play current too much, Tom, as you may know. But I I don't I think I know the branded cars. Branded in red, huh? Branded fusion, dude. I'm on the current player. What y'all talking about? I know what I'm talking about. Hand trap. You know what I'm saying? They ash blossomed your branded fusion, and then you lose. I know the vibes, man. Something like that. Maybe is that that's a thing, right? I'm nailing it. I'm nailing it. I know. You know, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. As we're going to play the Giant Tree get a reset on the sword. It's just trying to push for some damage. Is there a game maneuver here? No, it's just a lot of damage that you can probably put up. I don't foresee a way you can... <laughs> I don't foresee a way you can establish game here. You can, do, you can push for a bunch of damage, though. Maybe. Never mind. Ooh. Hold up. Hold up. And we're going to pay the troll toll. And it looks like... Hmm... Is that enough? That's that's fucking close. Oh, that's pretty damn close. I can't, I can't, I can't count. But that's pretty close over that Spirit Reaper, as that's a bunch, and then that's quite a bit. You know what I'm saying? That's a thousand. That's uh, no, that's eight, eight. That's a, yeah, thirteen hundred. So that's a thousand, and then that's a thousand, and then oh my goodness, that was literally exact game. Holy smokes, dude. That's cool. That was pretty neat. That was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I hate that that happened to Nova like that, but that was pretty damn cool. That's some good mathematics right there. That was a calculated, confirmed kill right there. Very cool. Spare Reaper in attack mode. Hate to see it. Hate to see it, man. Ace the math test. Splevin's math, undeniable. That was literally exact game. Damn. Hate to see it. Love to see it if you're Splevin. I love to see it. I, I like that. I actually really do enjoy that. Again, I just don't. I hate to see that I have to know a man. Couldn't have to a better guy. That's just bad. That's got to be like, damn. You got to be like, damn. Damn. Ouch. Ooh. Uh. Where, my, where my buttons at? I don't got no buttons. Where my buttons at, dude? I got to get my buttons. Where are my damn buttons at? I don't got no buttons, dude. Uh. Uh. Ooh. You know what I'm talking about. A little... But you eat that though. You eat that. You eat that. As Lupus says, hell of a play. That was a damn, that was a hell of a play. I, I hit him with one of these. I'd be like, okay, you cooked. You got me. This is what I do when I get, this is what I do when I get, when I get got, dude. That's my, that's my, when, that's my tail. If you ever see me out on the streets or you play me and I get got, or if you're just looking over and you see me doing one of these, I mean, I just got got, dude. And that's probably what Nova's doing right now. You got me. Okay. Run it back, 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 run it back. And that's all you got to do. You just got to shake that off, man. You got to take it. You got to take it and shake it. Just like you guys got to take and shake that like button, man. Go ahead and get on top of it. Go ahead and get on top of it. Let's, let's, let's go. What Let's hop on it. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me get into the thing real quick. Where is, uh, hmm. 
let's 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 make something happen. Yu-Gi-Oh players might not know how to read, but math skills are a ten out of ten. Would recommend. You're 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 nailing it, Nab. You're nailing it. I've seen some of the most, and it, I mean, granted, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, maybe I'm being a little too um, complimentary, complimentary, but at the end of the day, it's just adding and subtracting. But the speed at which some people can do it in this community. The speed at which some of these people can do the the simple addition and subtraction is just mind blowing to me. They just be like, bah, bah, boom, bam, 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 boom, done. I'm like, hold up. I'm like, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine. People just be like, they got it. They got it. Yo, I played Edison today at the YCS Dortmund. Wanted to get some sleep, but saw you streaming and had to jump in. Don't worry, I'm not on burn today. <laughs> okay, okay. Are you in the tournament? Are you playing? Are you are you gonna run, burn the midnight oil return winner? It's, it's good to it's good to just uh, let your metaphorical hair down sometimes and just unwind and get out here and play some Yu-Gi-Oh. You know what I'm saying? Just just kick it on a Friday. Friday night goats. That's the vibe all around. Friday night, feeling right. This is how we do it. You know the lyrics. You know the you know the you know the vibes. As you're gonna go ahead and spam the swords of revealing light in rebuttal to Nova Ethos. He's got that cannon soldier in hand or in, in the graveyard and the Dekoichi as well. So maybe got like a machine return element to this thing. It can pop off, dude. It can pop off, dude. Knock the spy. Yup. Move those spies out of play. Take the eight hundred. Set another card on the field. Yup. One turn on the swords. I'm thinking there could be like a if I, if 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 there's a return and limited removal situation, that's a, that those are two cards that I think are kind of underplayed in goats too. Return and limited removal together. I think uh limited removal being at three, the card is like ridiculously overpowered. It's just never used. Maybe maybe we can figure something out, get limited removal in the spotlight where it belongs, as Exile Force is going to be the grab. Exile Force pop, no last will though. So that's gotta be a, a sigh of relief as N Cyber Jar is gonna be the play. Dangerous Cyber Jar here against the combo deck. You just, you must be laying it all out there. You must be laying it all out there with the dangerous Cyber Jar out here. Good thing you got Exile. Maybe you got some combinations in your deck that you can put together. Given this cat player five additional cards seems like a wild and crazy strategy. But you know what I'm saying? You might, he might know something. He might know something. Yeah, we can we can double him. Yeah, what do you what do you think? I'm asking. What do you think? What do you what do you think? Should hey, do you, what I'm asking you guys. What do you guys think? Should we go double elimination on this, or should we go single elimination with the 16? Let me know in the in the chat. Get your responses out there. I'll do both. My my line was the cutoff was 16. Anything over 16, I was going to do a single elimination. But anything below 16, I was going to do a double elimination. Well, guess what? We hit literally the push. We hit 16 exactly. So maybe uh, I'll, I'll put it up to you guys. What do you guys want to see? Double elimination, single elimination. How do you guys want to do it? I got the time. I can do either. So it's up, it's up to you guys. It's up to the players. I know a lot of players typically in the Friday events, they will um, they will just drop. They will just drop anyway. Uh, they will just drop anyway. But I think um, e either way is fine with me. Either way is fine with me. <laughs> Either way, it's fine. Oh, we got Dimension Fusion was the play. Dimension Fusion, not return. It was Dimension Fusion all along. As you're going to bring back all of those Nobleman Spies, we're going to bring back the Cyber Jar. We're going to bring back the Cannon Soldier. Oh, never mind. We're going to bring back the, the Koichi and Cannon Soldier. This might, it might not be, it might be damn close to game. As Book of Moon on the Panda as well. Okay, just to put that bad boy in defense position, just to not stop it from blasting you. I was wondering how you're going to get through that. Now you got 14. You got 14. You have 12. And you have 12. And you can burn for 25. That's not quite enough to get the dub unless you got ring of destruction. But now you're sitting here. You got a whole board of, bar of hardy dudes. And you're going to pop the cannon soldier for an additional 500. You're going to pop the cannon for an additional 500, just the cannon though, just the cannon, just the single, the single cannon. Ah, maybe I keep the cannon, pop the Dekoichi, keep the cannon. Maybe he's, oh, maybe he's playing around snatched. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't know. But it's chill though. We're still kicking it here as the goblins are in attack position. Maybe you just won't attack with the goblins. Just leave them out as a nice sturdy wall with uh with with <laughs> Okay. Bluetooth says I Okay. I don't I don't know, man. Maybe <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. I'm down for the double. Well, I'm down for the double. I'm down for the double. I am down for the double elimination. Okay, I'm, I don't have a problem with it. Oh, as we're going to go for the goblins here, we're going to book the gobs. And now we're able to attack over the goblin attack force and then punch on in for what could be the end of the game. And it will. So we're going to go to a one and one situation. And yeah, we'll go with a. Uh, We'll go with a double elimination. Uh, we'll go with a double single elimination top cut to an eight double <laughs> elimination top cut. No, 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 no. We're not doing nothing crazy like that on this Friday. Not crazy like that. If anything, we do single, but typically the Friday events are always double elimination. They're typically double elimination, but you know, just for the sake of time, you know, people are in Europe are playing and people are all over the place playing and people got stuff to do Friday night. I don't want to be keeping here, you know, keep people playing, waiting for a double elimination losers bracket to complete when we could just keep it at the top bracket, be done with it. Nice and clean and easy, elegant single elimination. But, uh, I think Bluetooth brought up a great point. If we're going to do double elimination. I think it's fair to announce that before, I did. I did. I did. I think I, I thought I mentioned it. I thought I mentioned it in the uh, in the signups, but maybe you know people signed up under the under the uh, thought that it would be a double elimination. So we'll just we'll just rock it double, unless you know I hear some some feedback. Triple elimination, different deck every round. Deck checks confirmed between rounds. Tiberius, you're a madman. You're a mad lad. Okay, you're a mad person out there. You're mad. You're mad. Not on a Friday. That's not Friday kind of vibes, Tiberius. Those aren't, that's not a Friday, that's not a, that's not a, that's not a Friday kind of situation, man. That seems like a very not Friday kind of, that's like a, that's a work day, what you're describing. This is a Friday laid back, just got paid kind of situation. This is not that, okay? That's not the vibrations that we're trying to uh, accomplish here. As we're going to see, he must got multiple copies of this Cannon Soldier because I see another, another copy going on off that Grace with Charity. And what a cool looking card. Talk about cool. Talk about aesthetics, man. That purple. And that gold and this car is just chef's kiss. The cannon soldier. Great design. Great Yu-Gi-Oh card all around. Single limb with a $5 buyback. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, man. Single limb with a $5 buyback. As we're going to go tra graceful trap does shoot. That's a little, that's a slight, that's a slight little tilter. That's a slight. That's a slight little tilter, NGL, not gonna lie, as we're going ahead and uh, and continue to pass on over as we are rocking and rolling. Looks like we have Clay Vision and Art, 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 Art Arturo Semengali have already moved on to round number two. We're still rocking round number one for everyone else as we're gonna go ahead and reveal the exile force will be sent back to the deck with the effects of the trap dust shoot. Eight rounds of Swiss top cut to a 16. We're not, this is not, we're not talking about the GOAT format world championship right now. We're talking about the Friday free roll. We're talking about the Nitro Circus free roll Friday. We're going to go eight rounds of Swiss with a top cut to 16 <laughs> for the free roll Friday tournament, the Friday kind of feeling tournament, the Krusty Krab open. Oh, come on. What is that, dude? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh my God. What is that? What is going down? Sorry. Sorry about that. We have some uh, technological. I'm experimenting some technological indifferences over here as uh, I, I push one button. My entire system just shuts down. Am I still going? Did I close everything? Oh, no. We're going to take a last wheel here. Go for a rescue cat. This is looking violent. Rescue cat is going to yield two more beast mons from the deck with a Mylas. And another Milas and then the Exile Force are back, making their next appearance. So this is going to hurt right here as you got this Goblin. That, oh, this is going to really hurt. Like game time hurt. Is this close? It's got to be close as that thing is sitting at 29. That thing is sitting at 13. 
That thing is sitting at 33. Yeah, that might be GG. Yeah, wow, 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 wow. Shout out to Splevin, man. That is an explosive, explosive deck. Looks like the deck Bluetooth has been playing throughout the season, like a Earth Cat combo deck, man. It goes hard, dude. It goes hard in the paint. As we're going to go ahead and get the dub for Splevin, and he's moving on, and I'm going to pull the bracket back up, and <laughs> we're going to, we're going to. I don't know why I'm saying dub like that. I do apologize. Um, I do apologize, man. This week has been, this week has been rough. This has been one of my rougher weeks that I've had. So it feels good to just kind of let let it all out and be wild as Undefined and Beachy are clapped up. Let me let me hop on in there. Let me get over there and see what Undefined and Beachy are do, doing all knotted up here in the first round. Let's see what's happening here as now we have a BLS, a duo. You know what I'm saying? Undefined, fresh off of a top performance at GOAT Grand Prix Detroit. So these duelists seem like they're not playing anything I would even consider Spice. They're playing real, legit Yu-Gi-Oh decks, which, you know what I'm saying? I don't hate. I don't hate. I don't hate. They didn't get the memo. You know what I'm saying? They didn't get the vibes, so I can't hate. I'm just going to, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to keep it a buck nasty. Let's see. Is there any more? Let me, who's, let me pull up the rest of the bracket. Let me see who else is playing real quick. We have, Oh, we still have uh, the homie Cosmo Lax is in this tournament and not so fast. Let's pull that up and see. I'm going to go. I'm going to come back to this. We're going to come back. I want to see what some other duelists are doing as Cosmo Lax and not so fast are tied up as well. Locked in. It's, doo -doo 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 -doo. We got Cosmo Lax and not so fast. We got a little bit more earth and a little bit more burn. What do you guys want to see? You guys want to see the go control versus turbo? Or do you guys want to see this earth burn versus earth situation? What do you, I'll, I'll leave it up to the, I'll leave it up to you at home. The viewers, who do, who do you guys want to see? Where do you want to go with it? As I can't even find my freaking chat now. I'm just such a, I'm such a amateur dude. Freaking amateur hour, dude. This is just so embarrassing, dude. Chat's gone. Okay. Let's pull some new chat up then. Let's see if I can find another way to get the chat going as here we go. All right, cool. That's still here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I promise, man, one of these days, one of these days, I'm going to get a freaking monitor and then I'm going to be living the, f living the best life I ever had dude, with two monitors. And I'll be able to do all this on one on, on a, in an easier way. And life's going to be great. Oh, oh yeah. We see that. We see, we see the Mamunga in defense. Okay. Munga has to go in defense position. The Munga has to go in defense position. Let's call the judge. Did they summon not so fast? Summon that Mamunga in attack position. Did we just catch some mal some malpractice here? Is that what happened? Let's call Let's text. Let's stop. Let's stop the tape. Let's stop the tape. Not let's stop the tape. How do I not so fast? Halt, halt, stop. Mamunga have to be summoned in face down. That is true. That is a fact. Okay, we ca it caught it. We 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 caught it. So nothing, nothing was lost. Everything was saved. Shout out to the judges in the comment section. Okay, it's all about the spice. Okay, so we're gonna stay here then, because these duels are playing some decks that I would like consider a little bit more spicy. We can sit here and watch Chaos Turbo Mirrors. We're gonna get a lot of Chaos Turbo Mirrors coming up in the next coming dueling weeks, as the Goat Format World Championship is literally right around the corner. Like it's happening very soon so it's important that um that we, we're going to see a lot of turbo there and just like you guys can <laughs> just like you guys uh can hit the turbo on this like button dude you guys really can go ahead and assault that like button get on in there make it happen maybe there's other dudes and dudettes duelists from all over the world who kicking it on this friday night really not a lot going on unless you're out there partying clubbing spending some money somewhere you know what i'm saying just kick it at the house and play some goats it's a lot cheaper and it's better for your health as uh we're going to go ahead and lock in if uh, full train <laughs> yeah go ahead and go ahead and start listing all the things you guys can do to that like button let's go ahead and full trinity trap does shoot that like button one time let's go ahead Let's go ahead and in one light, one dark, assault that like button. If we assault the like button, then the town guards will arrest Halt. Who go <laughs> As Dylan said, JDZ equals just D's nuts. No, that is not what JDZ stands for. Dylan, as we are uh, as we are underway, <laughs> it is not what it stands for. <laughs> go ahead and continue. <laughs> 
<laughs> go ahead and continue to just obliterate that like button. I'm talking turn one, draw Exodia onto the like button and share. I don't know who the hell, when people say share, I don't know who the hell you're sharing it to. I really don't. I don't know who, 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 who would you, whoever you realistically would share it to go ahead and do that. But definitely you can go ahead and annihilate that like button as we're going to go ahead and check out what's going on as these duels are repairing the game state based on the events of what just went down with a little bit of, I mean, it's not often that you're using the nimble Mamunga. You know what I'm saying? That was one of my staples for a really long time. I couldn't build a deck without incorporating three copies of Nimble Mamunga. It was like Pot of Greed, three Nimble Mamungas, dude. That's how it, that's how high it rated for me. I thought that card was just so busted. It, it kind of is, though. Realistically, it kind of is, but it's kind of not. I mean, it's the Mamunga, dude. It's Nimble. It's <laughs> oh, it's a scientist FTK that light. Just go ahead and yada lock that light button. Just go ahead and set Witch of the Black Forest, one light, one dark, special summon, chaos, emperor, dragon, declare effect with priority, get witch's effect, grab yada, and attack 200 damage that like button, dude. Go ahead and play painful choice. Use three D mocks, one serp, and a premature burial, and then monster reborn D mock that like button, dude. Do it, please. <laughs> Gaining life and more defender. It might be something too. That Nimble Malunga and Giant Germ. Because I have I don't I have like if if you if you follow the program for any amount of time this past year or before, if you talk to me in any way, you guys, is the screen cut off? Is my is the screen cut off? The life points are cut off? Oh crud. I did not know that. Is it is it jacked up? Or is that just me? Am, am I jacked up? Is this all jacked? It is, huh? Let me fix it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. You guys didn't tell me. I can fix it. I can move that over. I can't see it that well. Is that better? That should be better now, right? Something like that. How bad is that? Sorry, give me just a sec. This is how I'm, this is how I'm, this is how I'm living over here in the free world, folks. This is, how, this, is how, this is how they got your boy out here living in the free world. Okay, should be good. But one of my one of my theories that I truly, truly live by in GOAT format, in Yu-Gi-Oh!, Go for math specifically. No, nah, it was me. It was me. I'm sorry. One of the digits was, it was it's it's all me. I'm all jacked up. One of the uh one of the one of my theories and one of my thoughts is like any card that can plus gain plus value, like go from one to two in go format should be considered. Any of them. Doesn't matter what it is. If it's a card that can plus, you should at least think about a way to to use it. Because it's not a lot of times that cards can plus, you know? So Nemo Mamunga is a card that technically can replace itself. And so is Giant Germ and a lot of other cards that don't get played. As PJ says, JDZ, JDZ versus stream setup money match. I would never take that match because I'd lose all my damn money. I'd be broke as hell. I'd be broke. I'd be brokered in about four or five jokes, dude. I'd be so, I'd be so down horrendous. I'd be down, I'd be down outstanding. I'd be down outrageous. It'd be ridiculous. Hell no. Me versus any technology. I'm getting us. I'm getting clapped. I'm getting my body rocked with all sorts of nasty hooks. As Michael Luck says, losers will be banished to the Shadow Realm. Now I'll do that. I'll do that. Now I'm down with that. I played. I played a Shadow game or two in my life. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I played a Shadow game. I, dude, I'm telling you, I was a nerd, dude. I was a dork. I was a dork level. I was a dork level Omega, dude. When um, dude, I remember we had like my little dueling crew that I was with. I remember when the show, I was such a nerd, dude. I remember when the show went to that arc with the uh, the Seal of Orichalcos guys were around. And I remember, like, getting, it was a card called My Hazorks. Had mind, not the, the spell card with a guy, he's, like, just stressing out, and it was a dude with his brain out. I would have, like, literally dozens of that card, because it was just bulk common. It was everywhere. I would have dozens, dozens, dozens of that card. And then we would go around, and then, like, whenever... We would you play someone and then you'd like have to make them sign it. They would sign it and then you like put a little fucking seal of Orichalcos on it and then put it in your binder. And you just walk around and have like all these people that you just captured their mind. I guess it was so stupid. It was so, so lame, dude. But it was, it was cool. It was what we did. I ain't gonna lie. It was, I mean, it is what it is. But you gotta, that was just nerd, just nerd, nerd things. Just taking people's souls. Doing, you just have like this binder, like filled of people's souls that you've, 
taken allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Not like real, like like on some we're on a wicked stuff like that. It was on some straight up nerd stuff, like oh, your soul is mine, get in the book kind of thing. It was cool, um, but I don't know what's happening here. Talking to a judge, one or well, Lily was summoned before the manga incident. Talking to a judge, what is? All right, I'm out of here. We're gonna back up out of this one. We're gonna go. We're gonna get some more high profile duel in action. I'll let them go ahead and sort that out with the judge. But it seemed like there was some stuff they backed it up, and they're gonna get that thing sorted. Okay, okay, okay. So it looks like we're on to round number two. I'm gonna hop on in and see what Clay Vision is cooking, because Clay Vision, by their own definition, that duelist said, "I always play nonsense in these tournaments." Literal. That's what. That's what they said. I didn't say this. That's what he said. So I'm saying I want to. I'm as a person who lives by the phrase a little nonsense now and then relished by the wisest man, I'm all into nonsense. I'm full. I'm a full, you know, stockholder in nonsense as it looks like the nonsense today is going to be some reasoning gate. And you got that King tiger and King tiger absorbs nonsense, like a freaking bounty quicker, cleaner, picker upper dude. He'll get in there and just obliv Oh, just annihilate nonsense. And this hand, this, this whole situation that Arturo is rocking right here is very nonsense proof. You can have all these cards. You can, this is, this is, this eats through nonsense. This is going to chew right through the nonsense. So it looks like clay is down to his bitter end. You need, <laughs> you need a series of pot graceful snatch upstart is a great start, but it looks like we're going to just negate it. That is so hilarious. That was so rude and hilarious and unnecessary. You could have negated the next card. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. <laughs> You gotta at least gain the life points and let him have a little hope a little longer. But it is gonna be what it is. I I didn't know this was a spice tournament. Yes. It happens all the time. You guys gotta pay attention to the announcements, man. You guys gotta pay attention to the announcements. You have to pay attention to the stinking announcements, man. I'll put it out. Nobody reads them. Everybody has them muted. I don't tag anybody. I, don't, I used to like at, at everyone, hey, this is going down. And people would be like, in my DMs pissed off all the time. Like, hey, JD, stop tagging me for stuff. I'm in the Discord and I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh, but I don't like getting tags. If you tag me again, I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm like, dude, chill, man. It's just a tag. It's just a just just take it. I just like don't listen to it. Like, nah, nah, I don't like getting information sent to me directly from you. Do it again, I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm like, all right, bro. It's cool, man. Don't don't beat my ass, bro. Just let me just let me so I stopped tagging everyone, but then no one sees it. And then it's information in there that people might want to know. And they just don't, uh, they just don't, you know, it is what it is. It's going to be what it is. So we're going to watch, we're going to check out what OG Betchy is doing from the OG gang. Let's hop on over there. OG and return winner return has told me that he is in fact not on burn. So that's cool. Or, or not cool. You know what I'm saying? He's just trying to kick it. We're just trying to see what's cracking. As we're going to hop on in and see what's going down. We got some freaking... Oh, man. Every time... Manju, Manju is back, dude. The rituals are back. And I'm for it. I'm here for the... I'm here for the rituals, man. I am here for the rituals. As we got the Manju. But it looks like you're down in life. It looks like you're down in position. Down in cars. Beachy is playing regular. Oh, man. Come on, Beachy. Where the spice at? Where's the heat? as this is going to be round number two. All right, so you know, let me see if I can, why can't I, uh, hmm, can I move this? Can I move this? Ah, dude, I'm getting my, I'm like, I'm getting clapped extra hard today. Usually it's, um, usually it's pretty hard, but today is like ruthless. My computer is just going crazy on me. Nope, that's not right. Do, 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 ah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking again. Shout out to all the people that are hanging out with us on this beautiful Friday, man. Shout out to all of you. Thank you for doing that. This is just something that we don't do too often. I think the ritual deck is a bit of a meta call, but very good. Yo, Clay Vision, what were you playing? I saw you rocking some. Uh, I saw you rocking some, uh, some, some, some RGT out there. I saw you out there. I saw you. For me, it's because I have a real job. Can't pay attention to Discord that closely. Okay, I can respect. I know. I know because I get tagged all the time. Like people DM me and tag me all the time, and I just like sometimes it's about nonsense. Sometimes it's about this or whatever. I just go look at it. I don't know if you see my if you see my Discord like I literally have, look at that. I don't know if you guys see that. This is my cell phone right here. I have four hundred and six things on there, 
Like, I just don't care. Like, I just you tag me, don't tag me, ping me, don't ping me. I'll freaking, I'll just sit there and uh, I'll just, I'll just right there in my Discord and look at this 406 freaking uh, notifications on there, unnotified, dude, just in the in the oblivion. Go for it. It's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be what it is. <laughs> it's gonna be what it is. So I, I get tagged all the time. I don't, I just don't, it doesn't make me know, never mind. But some people get like literally offended by being tagged. So I try not to tag people as much. So these things go down as uh, what we got here. Oh, no, 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 no. Ja ja but uh, honestly, people talk about Jazz and his one week and him getting tagged. But you got to understand, he runs like a pretty popular Discord, too. And if I know how much I get tagged, I can only imagine how much Jazz gets tagged. Jazz does not like to be tagged at all. He's a he's a team anti tag, and he said that several times. People still like to troll him and tag him and stuff, um, and he just you know mutes you or bans you or whatever the hell. It's just it's just a, I don't know if this is part of the game now at this point. You just don't don't tag people that don't want to be tagged. So I try not to tag people as much. <laughs> I'm so, I can attest. JDZ replies back to me like a week later. I do because I'll go through. I'll eventually I'll go through it, but it's just it's just it's just a lot, man. It's just a lot. It go it comes and I'm like okay, and I'll see some stuff and then, but sometimes I'll be already looking at it and then I'll I'll get it back. I'll I'll, I'll be on time with it, but it's just it's just a little faster than uh, it's a little slower than than I would like to be. We're going to MST rip right here. It's change our greed. That's plus. Hate to see it hate to see it i do the same thing it takes a long time for me to reply it's i'm bad I'm, my wife hates it you know what i'm saying and breaker too so he's got double jar that's a tilt i tilt there and we're gonna go for it we're gonna bring the boy out and we're paying two real cards we don't give a damn do we we don't care if this thing rolls a six i'm just gonna scoop who it's a five though so you're feeling you're feeling lit but man that's that's a tilting experience you know your breaker and your mst and you're freaking, you know, you paid the Kaiku, you paid the breaker. That's a hefty cost for this Zork. You better not, you better not get snatched. You better stick around. You, you, you better stick. <laughs> Cough. GGP since he did. Oh, crap. Tiber Tiberius. I'm sorry. See, that's happening. That's happening this weekend. That's happening this weekend, okay? That is happening this weekend. The GGP Cincy decks will go up, I promise. Okay, that's without a doubt. I'm having, tomorrow, I have like nothing going on. I got a day off. I got, we got some some admin stuff to take care of for the Go For My World Championship. I got some videos that I need to edit up. I have, you know, the GGP Cincy deck. So tomorrow's gonna be a GOAT format dueling day. My wife's gotta work. My kids got stuff going on. So it's just gonna be me and the computer. I got some yard. Oh, that is so whack, dude. This game is so whack sometimes, dude. This is so whack. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pissed. I'm I'm pissed. I'm pissed. You know, you get you do all that to get Zork out there and he just BLSs your ass off anyway. That is some BS, dude. I hate it. I hate it. But you know what? <laughs> it is what it is. Bitch, you get out of the chat and get your ass back into the dueling ground. Get your butt out of this chat. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You, you, it ain't your fault. It's just the way the game is set up. Man. Ooh, he's going for the snatch. He's got some protection for that. We're going to RB that right away. Get that snatch on up out of here. And now we're going to set one onto the field. <laughs> and we're going to just vibe, dude. DLS is on your ass, man. It happens, dude. It happens. That just makes me so mad because a card like Dark Master Zork should be able to stick around a little bit more. You know, he hits the field. If he needs to hit the field and he needs to he needs to go. As we're gonna play the set Nomen across out, his magician of faith, and then we are going to go ahead and play Thunder Dragon. So you're definitely about to eat three thousand and probably uh, a little bit more. As Spooky says, JDZ keeps his promises. He promised me that it would rain last night and it did. He promised me I would eat chili today and I did. Look at that. I'll take I'll take full credit. For that, for those, uh, for those, uh, for those, as that's going to get a GG right here. So, you know what? It is what it is. Beal, and he had the ring too. Just, just grotesque. Just grotesque. As everyone boo Beachy. I love Beachy though. I love OG Beach. I love OG Betchy. I call him Beachy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he likes it or not. I hope he doesn't hate it. But I've been calling this duelist Beachy for a long time. We met several times. He's a fantastic player. Good duelist, man, and good human. He's cool as hell, man. I love, I love OG Beachy from come, come representing Mexico. Well, boo, but he gets the booze, though. He gets the booze. Just booze all around for the Beachinator, man, as he go ahead and sacks Dark Master Zork like that. I hate to see it. I'm sick. I am sick. 
as we got Vici going into Arturo. We have the Pui and Splevin, little little UI on UI violence right here. So I'm going there. Let's see what Pui and Splevin are doing. Hopefully Pui is not playing the deck that I think she's playing because, oh my goodness, she's on the disgusting technology right now. And I am just grossed out by, it. okay, she elect not to play it, it looks like. She's playing not spice though. What the hell is this? I am so disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. What is going on? Why? Where's the goo? Where's the where's the goo at? I see Queen. I see Pui, who is literally the spice queen, the burn queen out here, and she's playing the regular. Come on, man. Come on. I have never had to back out of a Pui duel in a long time. You know what I'm saying? I just haven't haven't had to do it. I haven't had to do it. I want to see the heat. As it looks like uh, we have a battle phase here as we're going to enter it now. As Pui is thinking about it. <clears throat> as Pui is pondering about it. Let's see if they go whole enter battle, enter battle phase. We got a Gigantes in attack position. We got a Gigantes in attack position as we're staring down. Do -do 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 -do. As we're staring down, um, uh, uh, uh. yeah, spooky. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Pui, not on the spice. I'm disappointed. Goo or nothing. Yeah, that's uh, you. And uh, you know what? The spice that she's playing, you might have an idea of what it could potentially be. Maybe you know what I'm saying. If you, if you, if you know, you know. It's gross, man. That deck is that. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to put it out there too soon. But that deck has like some crazy potential to just be really, really good and beat a lot of people. And I'm, I'm afraid I don't want to play that deck. It hurts, hurts my soul to play against it, but man, oh man, it's good. I'm falling asleep. What's happening? I highly doubt. Come on. I'm not going to wait. What's happening? What's what's going on? What's going down? What's happening? What's happening right here? It's Friday tournament. Pui, what's what's going down? He missed a trigger. What what trigger? What trigger? Who's trigger? But Pui. It's it's uh last isn't last will like isn't last will auto like you can't can you miss last will you can only use this card if, you can only use cards one per turn when a monster on your side of the field is sent to the graveyard you can special summon yes it can so you don't have to that's crazy that's nuts dang 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 yeah it is optional last will is mandatory anyway no it's not if you read last will the way it's the way it's set up on the card. It reads as if it is not optional. It, it is. It is. It is optional. It's not mandatory. Like you can't. You can not. You can. You can uh, choose not to do it. So I don't know. But I mean, a Friday, a Friday, a, a rare and indigenous Friday shark on a teammate, no less. That's cold blooded, man. That's cold calculated. I don't hate it, I guess. But I, I, I don't think I. I don't think I could possibly do that. I don't. I. I just don't think I care enough. But to each their own, though. It ain't me. It ain't, I'm not playing. I would, uh, I, I don't think I could, uh, maybe I should start caring more. I think that might be my issue. I just don't care enough to, to, to do all that. But yeah, I, I mean, that's, that's just me. But uh, 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 again, this is, I'm not judging anyone. Everyone is free to live their life the way they choose. The only way I would not allow it is if new info came up. If new info from the turn, like, I don't know what happened. I don't know if they, if they summoned or something. So I, don't, I, don't, I, I wasn't paying close enough attention or we came in a little bit too late, but it looks like we got Gigante still on the approach here. We're going to attack into the magician of faith, getting back the swords of villain light and the goblins are able to No, We're going to play threatening roar. Wow. The side deck threatening roar is pretty cool. Oh, now we got. Oh, now we got a, now we got a, okay. What's happening here? Can you do that? Your opponent cannot declare an attack this turn after they already declared an attack. 
Uh, dude, I don't know, man. BRB making splev and pui means to stir the pot. Oh, we don't need any pot stirrage. We don't need any pot stirrage after they already declared an attack. I don't know if it goes like a like soul release kind of thing. Can you do that? Can you can you do that? We might have to get a, a second. This is a, potentially a second judge call in a free roll Friday. These duels are going at it today. Typically Fridays are like super laid back and we never get a judge call. But I, cause I know in like a card like soul release, right? And it says you can't attack. Like if I attack, I cannot play soul release because I've already attacked because it states you cannot attack. Um, okay. So she said that, uh, you, you, you can play threatening roar. Okay, so it's not it's not like the soul it doesn't get the soul release clause. <laughs> it does get the soul release clause. Have you seen the hero fusion deck with Zombira so you can make another warrior? Last word from another planet. Why am I saying soul release, dude? I'm sorry, I need to drink some water, dude. I'm saying I've said soul release 90 times, Nate Dog, and definitely meant soul exchange, not soul release. Oh my goodness. I need some H2O. I need some freaking water, dude. I need to get some water in my life. We'll just stick with this spin drift right now. You know, stick stick with that, man. I need some some hydration in my life. I can't believe I'm over here talking about soul release. Oh man, forget about it. I need hydro. <laughs> Spooky, you're killing me. You're killing me. You're killing me today. All right, all right, all right. So we are absolutely holding it down with the swords of revealing light. Have we played any giant trunades or perhaps heavy storm is what Splevin is going to go for as uh, trying to get through the rest of these set mons is probably going to be the way. Last, last, <laughs> last, last warrior. Just uh, uh, matter of fact, let me, let me, let me, can I, do we have any water? Can somebody throw me a bottle of water? Do we have any bottles? Anyone? Support! Support! Oh, what? Oh, not, no, I was, I was trying to get the girls. Can you toss me a bottle of water? We haven't, yeah. thank you so much. You're the best. You're the, you're the, you're the better than all the rest, dude. Where are, where are them kids at? Get them kids rocking. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Well, I got a little, got a little, little guy today. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, upgrade. Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness. You're the best. You're better than all the rest. Oh my goodness. Yeah, well, here we go. Here we go. Whew. So we're still kicking it here. Please sitting at 1300. We got the goblins in attack position. We got the Milas on the field. Somebody just gotta get down, dude. dude. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta put it in, dude. Flip phase, get back sword is pretty good. Anything else you got in there? So the turbo deck look like it's trying to get some some good trend going down. Can't seem to get to it, but you got the enemy gigantes in a in your side of the field on snatch. That's just like asking for drama, dude. <laughs> it's gonna oh no 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 i needed that i needed all that h2o in my neck right there oh dude i was so thirsty dude i need to drink more water i'm telling you, you guys gotta get you if you're not drinking if you're not oh man if you're not absolutely putting that water in your neck dude you're misplaying i'll, I'll say that every time i'll say that every single time as we're going to go ahead and play the reinforcements of the army to get another goblins from the deck just like you guys can re oh heavy is awesome here if no solemn judgment 
But we do have a second copy of Threatening Roar and Regeki Break to target set Giga target Gigantes as well. Oh, overlay. We're going to overlay for a... That was cool. I don't know what the hell just happened there, but it was pretty neat. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and give Gigantes back to the uh, back to Splevin. Magician of Faith still in attack position. Threatening Roar has been activated. No sets to follow up. And now Pui is going to think about it. Can we get a compilation of JDZ chugging water? We get like 10,000 views on Oh, but nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see that. I, I probably slam like one bottle, maybe two, two. I, I could probably, honestly, I am so thirsty. I could probably drink another one of those freaking waters right now. I am like dehydrated. I don't know what the hell I'm going, what's going on. As we're going to go ahead and take the breaker over the Gigantes, cleaning that guy up, destroying all spell traps on the field. None to be had in this current time. Goblin still standing alone and unafraid in attack position. If you can manage to go goblins, another Gigantes, you walk out of here with the dub. As we're going to go rescue cat, that might be good enough. And you're going to rescue cat pop. Let's see what the grab's going to be. And Pui is not even going to stick around to see it resolve. And Splevin is cooking with the earth beats, man. Going kind of stupid with this deck. And again, this is freaking... um. Bluetooth might be onto something, man. Bluetooth's been playing this deck basically at all the GGPs. He's been kind of having a lot of success with it. Uh, bubbled out of Detroit. Actually had a top performance in Chicago, man. Going nuts with the Earth Earth Cat deck. It might be something there. As Splevin is absolutely cooking with the Earth Cat. But it looks like Not So Fast has all has uh, taken out Cosmo Lax. So we're going to hop on in and see what Nate Dog's doing. Nate Dog and not so fast. Let's hop on in there. Not so fast. Not so slow. Not so anything. As we're going to hop on in and see what the what the uh, Bulgarian is it Bulgarian and Bulgarian bomb. What was his name? I had a cool a cool name for not so fast based on being from Bulgaria and something and fast. It was really good. I can't I can't remember what it was. But it was it was quite nice. It was had some alliterations in there. It was timely. It was funny. It was it was comedic. It was everything. But you know what? I can't remember it. So I guess it doesn't matter. As we're still hanging out, we're got a we got a host up here. Not so fast. Dang the Bulgarian. I can't even. I can't even. Uh, I can't even remember, dude. I am so disappointed. <laughs> Bulgarian bombshell. It might have been Bulgarian bomb. It might be something like that. But I didn't probably say bomber because I don't know. If, I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to get. Uh, I don't want to get. I don't want to offend nobody or anything like that. But it was. It was something. It was some. It was something. It was cool. And we're in. We're locked in. So we have Nate Dog who totally outplays not so fast in that rock paper scissors. I'm talking. He had them all figured out. Turn one scissors instant win. I mean that's just a clean outplay right there. Nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. Not so fast. Fresh off of the GOAT format War League. Oh, no, I mean the not GOAT format War League. They got second place. They did not get the they did not get the title, but you know, they had a good performance. They had a great season for that as well. Don't trigger the tear. No, I don't want to do that. We're not doing that. We're not doing <laughs> we're not doing that. No, 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 no. Seriously. Well, I can't even do that that voice. That key and peel skit was pretty hilarious. It was pretty good. That was a good one. Oh man. Man, 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 man. As we are going to be kicking it right here in round two, we get a graceful charity, not so fast, throws the nimble Mamungas to the grave. Drawing two nimbles is a feels bad type situation. As the light and darkness dragon sleeves, cyber dragon avatar with the substitute in the millennium. And we're going to spam Gillosaurus. Woo, not so fast is on the spice. He got the memo. Not so fast. Fun fact, you know, he has won this event. He has won this prize. I think more than once. And he's always playing the heat. He's always rocking the spice. As you're going to go ahead and special summon the Gillosaurus, and Gillosaurus will go ahead and peel off one of these scapegoat tokens, probably. <clears throat> Just peel off one of these scapegoat tokens before passing it on over to Nate Dog. Nate Dog looks like they're on some type of goat control strat here. And never mind, we're going main phase two. We're banishing the earth. To bring out Gigantes main phase two, trip up for the canceler. Wow. Is that how we're doing it? Is that how we're doing it out here? Oh my goodness. 
Bongo Boys second best team in the format. That's a fact. I mean, that's literally the facts. These are the facts of life, man. That's a true. That's a true statement. True words have never been spoken based on empirical evidence. Empirical? There it is. But Cyberstein does not give a damn about not activating spells. If you're going to spam Cyberstein to the field into attack position, and that is just okay. I like what I like what not so fast is doing. I've tried so many times to make spell canceler work and it just never does. And we're just going to go ahead and pay the troll toll and delete half your health to keep that Cyberstein off the field. You don't hate it. You don't hate it as you're going to go ahead and pass it back on over. Not so fast on the place on the main phase one, you have a freaking spell canceler up and active in attack position as you rip the jar of greed this is so so funny this is so funny man this is so funny i wish dude i'm telling you spell canceler has to be has to has to be good in some form or fashion uh because just spells are so powerful in go format i mean but you can wing blast that thing put it back to the top of the deck that's always what happens to me and it just feels so bad it doesn't feel good at all but I was randomly playing on the ladder one day, just doing my thing, playing like go control or cast control or something. And this duel is just randomly sacked for spell canceler. And I'm telling you right now, it shut my whole life down. Like my whole entire existence froze in, 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 in space and time. Like I couldn't do anything. My whole life, like not even just a game, like my actual life. Like I looked around, I could see like atoms and particles and molecules. I could see like, you know, time stopped. Like I can just see gravity affecting the things around me. And I was like, damn, dude, I am really canceled right now. He canceled me. I was, I was completely in the shadow realm. Blew my whole mind. Dude, I got into the deck right away and tried to make a spell canceler deck. And I guarantee you, if you look at this replay, Nate dog was just sent into the shadow realm. Dude, he was in, he was looking around. He was lost in time and space, dude. That spell canceler just ruined his whole existence. That's what it do. That's what it do, you. That's what it do. That's what it do, you. That's what it do. Damn. Hate to see it. Or love to see it. If you're if you are not so fast there, Nate Dog's gotta be like, bro, what the hell just happened to me? Why was spell canceler just OP as hell right there? That spell canceler's strong. He was all up on your case, dude. And in your face. Hate to see it. I'm sick. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I hope not so fast is playing mirror wall and such like the classic list. I tried that list. I tried to add upon that list is like a spell canceler with uh, mirror walls and like Don's Luke's and stuff. It's really cool. And you can clap some people up with that still right now, especially on the ladder. Cause I don't play, honestly, I used to grind the ladder a lot more. <clears throat> Excuse me. I used, I used to grind the ladder a lot more. But now I just play it, you know, periodically whenever I'm shooting a video or if I just want to play for fun. It's way more casual than I used to. And now if you're if you're on the ladder and you're between the level of like 100 to 600 or 700, everybody's going to be playing RGT on there anyway. So if you're playing the spell canceler deck, you're going to be just getting cheat wins on people all the time. So it's, it's it's definitely something that's that's doable. It's definitely something that's possible and plausible to play spell canceler. Maybe in like a world the go format world championship. I don't know if the spell canceler deck is going to get it. Oh yeah, Clay Vision. If you're playing against not so fast, you better hope you better pray that it's somebody else because you're done. You're done. You're you're finished, bud. Pal, you're finished. You're gone. You're not gonna like a turn one spell canceler. He can cause he literally can go Gillosaurus sack for spell canceler, you scoop. And we're gonna go for a little bit of pressure here as the patience and the resilience or the patience holding that TT was pretty good by Nate Dog, as you're gonna be able to get that Spirit Reaper and you're gonna get the Gillosaurus all the way off the field. <laughs> OMG and Reaper. Oh yeah, you're done. You're big done, man. You're not gonna, it's not gonna go well for you. But it might, you know, this is, uh, this is the, this is the Friday. This is Friday. This is casual Friday. Let your hair down Friday. So anything can happen as we're going to go for a Gigante true Nate here. So Nate dog might be on some combo type activities too. Yeah. Reasoning. Wow. 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 So we're going to see, maybe he's got more spell cancer that you can go into because having main deck spell cancer got you really far. <laughs> As you're going to call two, trying to hit Stein, miss Stein, go for a Sacred Crane here. Sacred Crane gets a draw. 
Wow, man. Wow. Neat. And to aggressive charity. So you're getting your combo off playing a little bit of combo Stein. This deck's cool too. Combo RGT, RG Stein deck. I don't hate it. And getting Demon into your bin is also quite lovely. And you have an open field. So you can get, you can win right now if you have the cards to do so. You still have a normal summon. You have access to, maybe you can get to a premature burial, get some more, get some more reasoning going as you're going to play the re the monster gate, going for another grab here, hoping for a Stein probably. You got, you got the uh, enemy control in there too. So this is, a, this is Stein, Stein OTK all the way it appears. Dimension Fusion as well, so maybe not. You are playing Dimension Fusion. Typically, Dimension Fusion and Stein don't, don't jive too much. Yeah, this might just be straight up RGT here as you're sending metamorphosis. You're sending a lot of units, man. You're sending, oh, wow, this is a huge, oh my goodness, that was a mega meal for a mega just crane. Maybe you got monster reincarnation and uh, you can get back, oh man, oh man, that's a big meal. That is a huge meal. Splevin might be playing the best 55 cards in the event, possibly. Wow, is that truth? Is that truth, Bluetooth? Is that truth to the tooth? You're saying that's the best 55 cards, possibly? I think that's your deck. I think he's playing your he's playing your Bluetooth Earth strategy, man. It might be something to that. As we're gonna go ahead and go for OTK here. It looks like you got the D mock, you got the you got the situation. Grab back is going to be, yeah, that's gonna be a GG right there. That's going to be a GG. That's going to be a GG. Fun Clay Vision says, fun fact, I actually invented Stein Machine Gate. I don't believe you. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe you. I think people were playing those cards when they were all around. I mean, people, you got you to understand too, Clay Vision. I'm not, I'm not trying to be disrespectful in any way. But in this format, everything is derivative, okay? Everything, all of it. Everything is a copy of a copy of a copy. So... To say that you are 100% the creator of something is impossible because everything is borrowed from someone else. That's why I always salute to the OGs. Salute to the OGs. Because no matter what I do, someone has already done it before me. Someone has already done it all before before you. So to say, oh, I totally invented, you know, the... I guarantee you we can check the archives and some duelists... You know, when those cards first came out, probably, <laughs> probably, probably did it. R3V Game says James Art invented Go Control. World Gone Mad invented it. World Gone Mad invented everything. Okay, that's a fact. Just check the tapes, dude. Everything. I invented three Zumbiras in Turbo. <laughs> I invented Cat. <laughs> I invented Cat. I mean. I, and I and I understand that too. I understand that too. It's like um, it's like the scientific community. It's like every other community. You want to be, you know, you want to say you want to put your namesake on something. You want to say this is what I did. I want to innovate, and I, I I applaud people. I encourage people to do that. Keep keep creating. Keep building. Keep making new stuff. Keep doing new things. I'm with it. You know, I'll give people credit. I'll give a, I'll give everyone, I'll give everyone credit. Like I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't take no, I don't take no credit for no one. I, uh, I will help with that. And uh, Team OD says, Happy birthday! Shout out to Emily, please. Yo, Emily, happy birthday to you. Wherever you are in the goat world, keep grinding. However, you're, however old you're turning today, I hope your day is filled with blessings and peace and prosperity. No matter how old, if you're, if you're, if you're young. It's always looking up. If you're getting old, hey, you, younger days are coming your way too. I don't know. Positivity both ways. I don't know exactly how old you're. Is this going to be the Gat Nasty is on the field actually? So we got some machine elements to this deck as well. And we're going to try to push as we're going to go Stein with the Gat Nasty. This is not the Gat. This is the Blowbacksy. This is not the Gat Nasty. This is the wrong guy. This, <laughs> shout out to Emily. Shout out to Emily in the building. As Tiberius says, I mean, I'm a diehard Mataza player, and we all know Yada88 did it first. He did it first, and he did it best. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, you gotta give much love to Yada88. He's been playing that same deck. I think that's where people start to get credit to. People, even if he didn't play that deck first, when you've been playing a deck for 20 years, you get the credit. That's facts. I mean, you've been playing a deck for 20 years, like literally. 
playing the deck for 20 years. He got proof. He can show you, like, hey, this is me playing this deck 20 years ago. This is me playing the deck right now. Any, if anybody got any questions about it, I'm that guy. That's me. <laughs> of course, you know what I'm saying? I'll shout out. I'll shout out. Shout out to the real ones, dude. Shout out to the real ones. Salute to the OGs. Every day, always, nonstop. As we got the the big Chungus on the field, able to go Monster Gate on the Fusilier to the Dual Mode Beast. And we're going to get another huge meal here, perhaps. Never mind. We're going to get a quick meal for a Cyber Stein right there. So not the best meal. You want that D-Mock. You want that D-Mock to hit, but it didn't, or anyone else. We're going to Monster Gate again. We're going to take another shot at it. We're going to take an, a secondary a secondary shot at it as it's going to be Reasoning Brain the Zoe. Now, that's a pretty positive hit. You, you don't mind hitting Jinzo, but every time Jinzo's on the field, Snatch Steel is going to be a part of the equation, so hopefully you got an answer for it. Hopefully you have prepared yourself for this algorithmic Snatch Steel that is going to be coming into not-so-fast possession here very soon. So keep that in mind, that when Jinzo's on the field, the algorithmic universal process will always put Snatch Steel into your opponent's possession. Hopefully it's in the graveyard. No, it's not. So it's definitely about to be in his hand. So Snatch Steel inbound. Five, four, three, two, one, deploy. <laughs> oh, I guess I was wrong. I guess I was wrong. But man, oh man. Oh my goodness, what's going on with this light? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Do you guys see that? I'm getting blasted. Oh, I'm getting I gotta I'm gonna have to put like a put like my shade up or something, man. I'm getting demolished. The sun is coming in on me today. I'm with it though. I'm with it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hide from the sun. Because uh, summer is about to end or fall is over. Winter is coming and I'm miserable. I hate it. I'm, I'm, I'm pissed off every time I think about it. As we're going to get another good quality meal. The call is going to be eight. A lot of cards getting sent to the bin. The card is going to be eight, but it's in fact going to be seven. So a lot of units on this go format dueling field. That Spirit Reaper is looking quite nice for you as you see a lot of cards get sent on off and you're staring down you got those nimble momongas as well just i think one momonga still might be set i'm probably not saying that right i say momonga it probably not pronounced that way hopefully it is jdz is getting sacked by the light dude i'm getting destroyed by this light as we're going to go and tribute up for the demon a hard summon on the dark magician of chaos and we're going to see where the grab's going to be back from the bin this time grabbing back it looked like, was that a metamorphosis? I'm sorry, I had my, yeah, it was metamorphosis. We're going to play the metamorphosis, banishing that demon, going, trying to set up probably a dimension fusion play here because that dark magician of chaos is banished. Let's keep that in mind, folks. That dark magician of chaos is not going to be in that graveyard. That bad boy is going to be out of play. Okay, we're going to go for the call here and we're going to get one heads, one tails, one heads. So two heads. And we're gonna pop the the nimble Momonga and the Spirit Reaper. Yeah, I might have to put my shades on. I am getting destroyed. Hey, Neela. Some more. Oh, sorry. Now I was trying to see if I can if if um, if somebody could just move that curtain over. Zelda. Yeah. Can you move that curtain over right here, and just slide it over so it's like blocking that. Block. Oh, and he hit the re oh, second Reaper. Reaper number two. Just, yeah, just slide. Yeah, just, you can move all that stuff and just slide over. Thank you, sweetheart. Yeah, he hit a second Reaper. That's rough, but he's get, he gets the opportunity to make a couple more pops here with the Gat Nasty if he feels so inclined. As we're going to go ahead and reveal heads. You get one heads. You get two heads. And three heads. So you got to kill one of your own guys, which is... Always a feels bad. Oh, yeah. Just a little, little bit more. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, baby. Um. All right, all right. So he ends up uh, wanting to keep, he wants to keep the Jinzo on the field to ensure that your traps are still offline and the Gatling Dragon kind of backfired doing his thing. And it was a freaking Sinister Serpent, too. That's a feels bad. And we'll just Mega Morph and try to just punch. Ooh, I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen this in a, in a, in a long time. Freaking Jinzo just mega morph, send it. And that's going to be 4,800. But now Jinzo's attack will be cut in half. So keep that in mind. Jinzo's now sitting at a paltry 1,200. 
a weak and feeble Genzo staring down uh empty board we're gonna have to still have to bring forth the exile force pop the Genzo send the megamorph set one card on the field pass it back on over actually two cards pass it back on over to Nate dog Spooky says he should have waited for that Megamorph. Yeah, I think so. I think, so. but that's a lot of damage. Maybe it was favoring just putting putting some kind of clock on him, getting that, getting him down to twenty seven. But I think I keep that Megamorph. But you gotta you gotta time it. I mean, maybe that was your win condition. You've already burned through a lot of your best cards, and maybe you thought that that Megamorph could just ride, just ride you on to victory. But it was not the case in this particular duel. It didn't work out. And then we're gonna just go ahead and rip the solemn judgment on the graceful charity, just keeping Nate Dog off of new cards. You feel like you're in a good position, and now you're kind of you're still you're still at three thousand, so you can probably take a hit or two, unless you can just go for a a, a sick Earth or an Earth push, maybe double Gigantes, normal summon. That's probably what you would need to get out, but. I think this is still uh, this is still looking pretty favorable for not so fast. He's got a ton of cards in hand. Uh, Nate Dog still just sitting with two cards on the field. One and a lot of your a lot of your gas has already been gone, and you're below five thousand. So it's looking is looking grim. It's premature in the grave too. Yeah, premature is here. Um, you got several monster gates, several reasonings. It probably can get some stuff going with some cranes. Maybe if you can't, if not so fast, can't get a normal summon. Or if something just weak, maybe you can put. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of nuts. <laughs> maybe if you could just uh, get a crane down and maybe you can go get on crane beats. Crane beats can just make it happen, perhaps. And we're going to trip up for spell canceler again. And we have the TT splash. Is there going to be a solemn? No. Is there a call of the squanch? It is. The call has been haunted. And we're going to bring back the spell canceler. Chaney scapegoats is always hilarious that is always hilarious but now you got the spell counselor up and active on the field so i think that takes away splevin's or not so or uh, nate dog's win condition there because you needed that crane to just have the biggest longest hairiest crane legs you've ever seen and walk on to victory but the spell counselor he can actually beat up sacred crane which is just so funny to me it's so funny I don't know, man. I think Spell Counselor is another one of those cards that just had a little bit more attack. If this dude was sitting at 21, it'd be almost a staple, dude. It'd be played. It wouldn't be a staple, but it'll definitely, people would definitely have way more. Or if it maybe had like uh, like 2,000 defense or something, or if it had something more, the 18, 16 is just so lame. Blade Knight can just kill this thing. That sucks, man. That sucks. But, you know, for situations like this, when you're playing the Spice, and your opposition is rocking reasoning type strats. Summoning this spirit, Sinister Serpent in attack position is bold. That's a bold, bold move. Let's see if that pays off. Hopefully, you got some type of protection in the form of a trap card to protect this Sinister Serpent because now you're opening up avenues for that damn Sacred Crane to come on out and come after your cheeks. But still, no Sacred Crane to be found as, as not so fast as on the play. Not so fast. Origins of Call of the Squanch. Origins of Call of the Squanch. I got that from, uh, it's a show called Rick and Morty. I used to watch that show a lot when I was out of town, when I was doing my thing. And it was this character on there, and his it's called the Squanch, I guess. I don't know what it is. It's like this cat, and he calls everything Squanch is this, Squanch is that. And like Squanching, and I don't know. It just, I don't know, Call of the Squanch just kind of made me think of uh made me think of that i don't know i, I that's why that's why i say that call of the haunted is just call of the squanch and not so fast gets there as spell cancels able to uh yeah it's like the scene it's like this freaking cat it's like a little cat dude watch it i mean i don't know how you guys feel about rick and morty i don't know i don't know if that show's canceled or not maybe i read somebody getting canceled maybe you shouldn't watch it or should watch it i don't know but i i haven't seen it in a long time but i did used to watch it and I did see that episode, and this dude was just squanching all over the place. And I thought it was just the funniest thing for. There was a period of time I thought it was quite funny. And this dude, uh, this cat, he was just called, hey, squanch, squanch me some, squanch this. And I don't know, call it a squanch, dude. All right, so it looks like OG Beachy was defeated by Arturo Svengali. And it looks like not so fast. We'll have to play it against Arturo Svengali as well. The the Dogtown bracket is kind of solving itself. So we are going to do double elimination. 
we're not going to rock it at single elimination. We're going to keep this thing rocking and rolling because it's some cool, it's some cool decks in here and everybody is doing the business. So we're going to stay. Uh, we might, let's see, do we need to take a swore rated dog town? I think we've seen a lot of the decks be featured already. So I'm gonna stick with the upside for now. Let this thing resolve and then we'll jump back down to Doll Town. And we'll see Splevin versus Not So Fast as uh, we just saw Not So Fast going. Or it, well, I'll, I'll throw it to you. I'll throw it to you guys. Who do you guys want to see? Who do you, who do you guys want to see? Uh <clears throat> obviously they just, they just need Kunai with chains with uh with on spell canceler, blast with chains. Blast with Chain spell counts, which seems pretty good. Blast with Chain on spell counts seems pretty cool. Big Splev. All right, say less. Spell Canceler MF. Oh, damn, dude. He calling them out. He calling them out. Big Splev. We want to see Big Splev do his thing. <laughs> let's, let's lock in. Let's lock in and see Big Splev out here holding it all the way down. They did a good job finding a new voice actor. New season, October 15th. I'll check it out. I, I mean, I, I liked it. I didn't, I don't, again, I try to, I try to stay away from like politics and stuff. I don't really get all involved in there. I don't jump in there too much with it. I, I, I don't, uh, I don't, oh, Nova Ethos says he wants to come by and say hello. I'll let Nova come on in. Nova is supposed to be, it was supposed to be fun fact. It was supposed to be the duelist soul in the booth with me. He said he's gonna come by, and I, you know, what I'm saying I was like, you know what, soul, you want to come by? Come by on a Friday. Come by Friday night, and we'll get soul in the booth. But not so. We got we got Nova Ethos wants to drop in and say hello, and of course I will do that. So Nova, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'll see what I'll see what Nova's up to, man. I'll see what Nova's up to. Let's see if we can get Nova to come by, and we could do that. Big splev into a immediate torrential tribute. Hey, see it? Yeah, of course. I'm go okay. Let me let me figure out how to do this. Let's see. What's the easiest way? What's the easiest way to do this? I think it's just yeah. Let's see if I can. Uh, hmm. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh shoot, I forgot. I'm not even over here. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So I'm gonna tag you here. I'm a tag at Nova, at Nova Ethos. Nope, wrong Nova. I don't know who that is. Who's I don't know who that duelist is. Shout out to that duelist though. He almost got tagged. He was about to beat my ass, dude. Just another person trying to put hands on your boy, dude. Okay, we're gonna go here, and then we're gonna go here. All right, if I can, give me just one second, folks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get Nova in here. I'm trying to see what uh, what Nova's got cooking, dude. And give me just one second boom all right nova if you can hear me you have the you have the technology you can rebuild him okay now you should be able to see the commentator booth all right locate that channel which is going to be right there and i'll meet you there how's that nova ethos can you hear me mic check one two mm -hmm. mic check one two what is this this is Nova ethos back in the building and how are you living mm -hmm. today I'm doing quite well, my guy. Oh. This is uh, quite an event you're having. <laughs> oh I've yeah, seen some really really cool decks so far. Nice man, thanks for dropping by. And I was I was mentioned earlier. I don't know if you were able to tune in while you were playing, but I was just singing your praises about how you know you are, are kind of taking the mantle as like the spice representative. I enjoy what you're doing over there in the spice syndicate server and in the Goomba squad, the Goomba the Goomba Cup man. I participated in Goomba Cup too. I had a blast. You know what I'm saying? I got my my bell rung by Pui. She put it on me pretty hard, dude. Knocked me all the way up out of there. But you know what? It's going to be what it is. So I appreciate that. And I've been following your game for a while, man. And I appreciate what you've been doing. Just trying to keep off meta in the meta. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the I think that's my goal. And that's your goal. And I love to see it, man. So I appreciate that. Thought I, I thought I'd tell you that to your face. Or over yeah. The yeah. <laughs> I really, really appreciate you saying that. That means a lot to me. Um, and yeah, I saw what you said beforehand during my match and I really appreciate that as well. Nice. Um, I, I think, yeah, we want to, or at least I think you and I are like minded in the sense that we want to make goat format or we want to innovate in goat format mm -hmm. and, cause that's fun. It is. Um, it is. Uh, among other reasons like that, um, you know, I mean, people who tend to innovate are 
Oh, they kind of accept that they're going to lose a bunch of matches uh, mm -hmm. in pursuit of something <laughs> greater. Um, <laughs> let's just say it that way. Um, but yeah, I think. But sometimes, I, I mean, that... but but sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You can get, you can find a cool new thing too every now and then. Like sometimes you, you try, you try, you try and you fail, but then sometimes something cool happens. Like not so fast. I think what this, whatever this thing not so fast is doing. I think it's pretty cool. I really do. I like I like what I'm seeing. I like the Gigantes. I like the Injection Fairy Lily. I like the main deck spell counselor. I think it's like a stun aggro thing, man. And you can put big beefy dudes out there to protect the spell cancel, make it, maybe make them not want to attack it, shutting off their spell cards. I think it might be something to it. I don't know. I don't know. But we're yeah. it, that's the that's the, that's the game we're in now if you want to hop yeah, on in so, i'm watching i'm in i'm in <laughs> okay okay not, yeah not so fast he and i have gone back and forth he has really really good ideas for decks um but i've only seen him bring them to to these i want to see him bring them to the more competitive events. but yeah um, but not not so fast is somebody i consider i consider not so fast a uh, all around Yu-Gi-Oh player, but he's a comp he's a competitive. I think he's competitive first. Like he's trying to win yeah. first, and he's gonna play the decks that are gonna are gonna win. So he's gonna go for the Warriors. He's gonna go for the Turbo most mm -hmm. of the time. But when he comes out for good, he's an awesome deck builder. Like the, he's won this event before, actually playing mm -hmm. like a really cool that tune deck. I don't know if you saw that one. Yep. That was a really cool deck. Yep. So he's got the ideas, but the courage. I don't know. People don't want to lose. <laughs> people don't want to. People don't want to roll that dice, man. People don't want to be under, under, I don't know, under undervalued or something like that. And they just feel like they want to have a, a level playing field, and they don't want to be like, oh well, I could have won if I played a real deck. Maybe that's what people think, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. All right, all right. But now he's cooking right now, though. He's got the Gigantes up, but now Slevin's about to make a power play. It looks like we're gonna go for it. Go for the last will, Exile Force, and we're gonna think. Maybe you might solemn judgment this. Let's see what not so fast does as he takes a little bit of time. Yeah, negate mm. that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he Slevin's like, I'm not worried about your back row, <laughs> but maybe you should have been. <laughs> yeah, he went for it though. I mean, what what else? He probably that's like the the best play that yeah. this deck can make is that exile force mm -hmm. pop last will get some more shenanigans and vibe, but. He just negated that, broke the whole combo up. You got a nice little plus two out of it, and you're chilling. As Injection Vera Lily, still in attack position, not able to boost. That's dangerous, but it's all good, though, as you're going to smack on in with 19 black double Whoa. blast. <laughs> oh, man. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. Blast from the past. Blast man. from the past, that was, dude. That was awesome. Love yeah, it. Yeah, I see. Yeah. I see what Sloven was going for with the exile play, like knowing Solomon was there, then that put Lily or put not so fast below two thousand. Mm -hmm. um, so that totally made sense. Okay, um, okay, I can respect it. I can respect it. I can respect it. But still, man, ooh, double blast! I bet you didn't see that coming. I bet yeah, you. Yeah, that was. I'm trying to think what this is even is. This is amazing. This maybe the... Gearfried's in the mix too. No, he's he's got main he's got main deck spell canceler is in there. And he's got Gillosaurus and maybe some more Monarchs in there. I didn't see the whole thing, but that's mm -hmm. cool, man. And Double Blast. I was playing. Have you ever played the ladder? Or um, do you play ladder often? Uh, I used to a lot more, but I hop in there occasionally when I'm really like in the early stages of building something. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because I was about to say, man, I got I throw a heavy storm down. I got double blasted the other day. Sent me right mm -hmm. to the shadow realm, dude. Blew up all my stuff, dude. I. Whew. It hurts, man. Blast of Chain is another card that I think is a little bit underexplored, perhaps, man. It can do a lot of stuff. You can do some damage step shenanigans with that card too. Getting into the getting to getting things to miss diamond sometimes and boost stuff up. It's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool card. I don't know. Yeah. I Look. think in the Warrior Mirror, uh if we're talking competitively, I mm -hmm. think it's very strong. Uh, <clears throat> you can boost a Dawn to hit over Oof. any other warriors, which can be really, really good. Um, or just a blade knight to hit over another blade knight. Look at that. It's it's it's, it's pretty solid. It's cheeky, a little cheeky battle trick too, man. Just have it down, mm -hmm. and you can like, you know, boost it, kill their guy. Sometimes it might be better than Sakuretsu armor in that mirror. Who knows? It might be. I mean, warriors might can play the card. See stuff like this, stuff like mm -hmm. this, like this whole conversation, and just seeing it being applied in a in a semi competitive game or competitive game because these duels are still mm -hmm. trying to win. I mean, they they might be playing like yeah. off meta decks, but they're still very competitive. Um, 
maybe somebody might see this and be like, oh man, Blast with Chain. I didn't even know that card existed. What does it do again? Oh, and now they're in their deck editor and they're reading, and then now they're putting it into their actual warrior deck and they're having great results. And now you just added a new card to the meta that wasn't always there or something like that. I think it could be cool. I think it could mm-hmm. be cool, man. All right, so we got uh, Not So Fast on the play main phase. Four cards in hand, two set, flip spy. Hate to see it, love to see it. As Tiberius says, I bet he has a Mobius in there too. Maybe, perhaps, perhaps Mobius, and then they uh, they chain, they they hastily chain TT to your Mobius after you target it, and then you just chain your blast with chain and like I uh, target this too. Ooh, but we mm. have the Royal Decree and the Solemn Child. <laughs> Look at that combinations of plays hitting the Mila's Radiant. We're just trying to go for maximum damage here. And you're going to get a card from your hand. So you get some plus back and you do a little bit of extra additional damage. You don't have to roll. Just grab that card. You don't have to roll. And you're going to hit the rescue Ooh. cat too. You're going as to I, as I learned in my match versus Splavin, I don't think you want to be leaving a Spirit Reaper in attack mode. Oh, but, uh, yeah. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> saw that. He, we we saw that, yeah. man. He got you for exact. And it, it's happening oh, again. <laughs> It's happening again. No last will. It can't be last will. If it's the last will, it, like it happened again. It did. Ouch, oh, no. Damn it. That's two times, dude. Splevin is just feasting on Spirit Reapers tonight, man. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's, yeah. Oh. it's tough because you got to like hope to rip the best card of their hand with Cat, but he did, and it still didn't matter. Yeah, that hurts, dude. That hurts. That hurts, and we're going to go for it. We're full combo now, and we're going to go for the Stein as well. No Stein, huh? Oh, you know, you can't pay for Stein. I'm sorry. Yeah, just under. Oh, so Election you should be good. Oh, never mind. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, 2K, and then, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, that thing's at three. Yeah, that thing's at 3,000. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. GG. Okay, you can't pay for Stein, so, but still, but still, that's the, that's Spear Reaper. Like you said, man, Spear Reaper in attack <laughs> position is that's just, so that's another way for game to just sneak on in. Gotta watch out for mm-hmm. it. Keep your eyes open. Keep a mm-hmm. keep a sharp lookout. <laughs> I don't feel as bad as that happened to me now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's a yeah. it's a common occurrence, man. It's a, uh, two times yeah, yeah, two yeah. times in one tournament is pretty impressive. Mm-hmm. What, what were you playing though? What, what kind of day were you on today? Oh yeah, so I was on. A, so the point of the deck is essentially to use um, Book of Moon in conjunction with Mystic Tomato mm-hmm. to summon dark flips um, and then resolve them. So ideally, like, the best target is Cyberjar. Yeah. Because um, I feel like with Dimension Fusion, that Cyberjar really, really does well. We've seen that with Patrick Zero's build. Um, it's a really, really solid card in the deck and kind of propels you to the mid game. Yeah. Um, so I was trying to, like, find a way to make that happen much more consistently. So I would run tomato and then special summon jar um, and then use book to flip down jar um, and then uh, resolve that. So okay. That was kind of the point. Did you go, did um, you, you, did you, have you tried the Ron route? That might, that might fit well. Yeah, in like it's, a, like it's a Ron adjacent. It's a Ron, it's Ron adjacent. adjacent. Okay. Okay. So you're, you're, yeah. you're portions of Ron portions of yes. your own thing. Okay. Okay. Cause mm-hmm. that, that could be, that could be cool. I saw Bazoo in there with the dimension fusion elements, man. That's neat. Mm-hmm. That's a neat little, that's a neat yeah. little, that's a neat little situation. Please tell me there is a penguin soldier in the side. At least who's playing penguin soldier. Who's playing penguin. J kids cooking something different. And we're going to go another turn one spell counselor gigantes and say, go maybe, maybe we'll set some defense behind this spell counselor as well. Cause, oh yeah, we're going to protect. We're going to go full. This is this is hard too. It was very strong opening. What? Wow, Gigantes banishing Gilosaurus is really really good. I didn't even think about that. But maybe, but maybe, um, but maybe, maybe, Splevin does have Goblin Attack Force in the deck, and he True. does have you know he can just attack you know too, as as a way to get out of this thing. So it might not be as good as it was in previous in the previous matchup, but still, Spell Counselor slept on man. That's a sleeper. But you're gonna draw. And we got a lag here. It looks like we're lagging up. Let's see if we mm. can. <laughs> and we're going to just... We lagged up, man. We're lagged up. Turn one counselor Same. is nutty. <laughs> You're lagged up? Are we lagged? Who's yeah. lagged? They're lagged. We're all stuck here together. It's all good. What you got going on this Friday night, man? Over there in Bird in Birdland. Are you just kicking it? 
Yeah. Um, yeah, I am. It's been... It's. I mean, yeah, I, I try occasionally to play and use Friday turn... Oh, no, still been disconnected. Um, yeah, I think Friday tournaments are the best place to test some of the theories mm -hmm. that I have. <laughs> So, Nitro Circus or not, I'm usually always bringing something a little bit different. Nice. Um, so, yeah, but um, I've always wanted to, to come on and, and chat with you on one of, of these. Of course, man. Especially, I think it's fitting that it's a Nitro Circus. That, and, dude, you know, you're, you're <laughs> of course, of, nice, of so. course, man. We've met. Uh, I, think you're, I think you're a good, I think you're a good, you know, person in the community. I think you have a good head on your shoulders. You know a lot about these spicy decks, and I'm all about the spice, man. I can't get, I can't get yeah. enough. I'm a, to, to my own detriment, for the most part. To my own detriment, <laughs> I think I think I enjoy it a little bit too much, but it's all good though. Uh, as we got turn one spell canceler with the Gillosaurus going, Gillosaurus going first, I think is underexplored too. Like that's pretty good. And we're gonna go exile four. So you did have the out to the spell canceler right away. As we're gonna think about it here, maybe you might solve this. I wouldn't blame him, but then Primo would. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, I think that's yeah. Right. You know, ain't no premature. You don't have to worry about that. While that level five wind is on the field, ain't no premature burials gonna. Oh, true. Oh, but he can gigantes you back. Ooh. So hopefully you got a battle trap as well. That'd be that'd be cool. Or blast, blast, blast. with chain. <laughs> that's blast with chain hurts. Let's see blast, blast, if this blast. is gonna go through as we enter into the battle phase. You gotta have it, or sometimes you don't. And we're going to Sakuretsu. No that'll blast. Do. That'll do it though. That will do it. As Azure, Azurai, Azurel, Azurel says, what time does the attorney start? Usually, I have every other Friday free. There are two Fridays, okay? There's going to be one at 1 p.m. and there's going to be one at 7 p.m. These are all Eastern Standard Time, okay? They're in the GoFormat.com Discord. Get on in there and get your game on. As we're going to go full frontal attack. Oh, good grief. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Oh. That ooh, that made me sweat right there. That one okay. that one made me sweat right there, man, as you just get sent into the most ferocious mirror force. I think I've seen in weeks. As, I haven't seen a mirror force that potent in a long time, man. And you didn't have to do it. Yep. You could have chilled a little bit. Mm -hmm. You could have chilled a little bit. As you're going to go ahead and send the charity and spell canceler number two, one card left in hand. As John Doe asks, JDZ, what's going on, brother? I'm chilling. You know the vibes, man. Chilling on a Friday. I got Nova Ethos in the booth with me as well. And we're going to go ahead and go for game right here as Cyberstein comes to the field. And that's going to be a GG. Okay. So, dang, dude, that Mirror Force was just spunky, dude. You did not have to do that. You did not have to do that. Mm -hmm. You could have chilled. Mm -hmm. You could have chilled a little bit. But you know what I'm saying? It's going to be what it is. So, that is going to be, is that, that I think that was game, that was game three, I believe. That was game. Okay. Yeah. Maybe okay. not so fast was thinking to yeah, go get Splevin under five K. Uh-huh. I don't know. That that could that could have that could have been it. Or maybe he thought that this deck wasn't playing playing traps or something like that. He just gotta send it. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I do hate the results. I do hate the results. But um I don't I don't hate the I don't hate the uh, I don't hate I don't hate the move. I don't hate the move. It's not a misplay by any means. I just hate that it worked out that no. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right, yeah, so but this this tournament's going by pretty fast. We're killing it. We're killing it. We're killing yeah. it. It's only a sixteen person thing. It's a little fun. These Friday events, man. I was I was almost going to play today if we didn't get mm. like this many people in. I was going to play from the booth just to get my stretch Ooh. stretch my dueling legs a little Ooh. bit. Summon myself to the field, Don Zalu. You know what I'm saying? How you doing, GX? You know what I'm saying? Bring my own ass <laughs> out here. But now we have uh, Splevin and Arturo Vengali are getting it in. We have Nate Dog and Pui down in the down bracket. Return winner and idle sue are getting it in og beachy is waiting there and we, yeah we're, we're cruising along so we're going to stick with the winner's side i believe this is going to be round number four as arturo vingali is going to be loading up with i think we're going to yeah we're going to stick with the winner's side unless you guys want to take a soiree let me know who you want to see get in there get in there get in there I'll, I'll share the bracket into the uh into the comment section and you guys can look at it and tell me if there's a match that you want to see because I'll go where I want to go, but you guys can put some insight on there and see what it's going to be. Anybody you want to see, Nova, that you didn't get a chance to, uh, that you didn't get a chance to see? Mm, I know that I, I Desu, who defeated me, yeah. is playing some some pretty. 
is interesting. It? Um, is it? It's, it's nothing. I would put it at a like a seven. A seven. A seven. Spice. A seven. Yeah. A seven on the Richter scale. I gotta go see it. Well, I got it. What's but not so? If not so fast is probably playing like a nine. Okay. So, so not not so fast is not not so fast is a sneaky spice lord. But if you're saying that if you're saying Idol Sue hasn't been on the stream yet, so if you're saying they're at a seven, I think that's worthy of a, of a trip. So we're going to see Return Winner. I like Return Winner anyway, and Return Winner's playing mm -hmm. a cool deck. So let's let's go see. Let's go see what is what's happening right. down there. We're taking a Swall Raid into Dogtown. We're taking a Swall Raid into Dogtown, and this duelist name is Blowback Enjoyer. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make any. That's it. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. And I'm gonna yep. stop right there. <laughs> I need to grow Here up, man. Go. I'm so immature. Oh, look at him, dude. What are you talking about? This is, dude, Giffrey in Blast with Chain is all. Is, I guess that's at least a seven. That's at least a seven. Yep. Yep. I love this freaking deck, dude. I love mm -hmm. it. I love it, man. Okay. <laughs> Hey yo! Oh yeah! Oh, but we got a freaking. <laughs> I'm gonna grow up. I promise. One day, as we pitch Dark Master for Dark Master, and we're gonna go for it. Please don't be a six. Please, no sixes. No sixes, dude. Come on, it's gonna be a two. So you're chilling with a two, as you're gonna go ahead and send the Gear Freed off the field and smack on it for twenty four into another mm -hmm. ferocious Mirror Force, dude. Mm -hmm. Ooh. At it. Ooh, where's my buttons at, dude? I gotta hit the buttons. I'm in the booth now. I can, I can hit the <laughs> buttons. Sounded pretty close to the soundboard. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty good. Where is it? Oh, uh. there you go. It's not working. No, I can hear it. Can you? Oh crap. Oh, I can hear it. Maybe, maybe only I can hear. It. I don't know. I can't hear. It. Hold up. Maybe I got it. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I had to. I had to mute the soundboard because freaking Go Format War League has like gave me mm. soundboard. <laughs> Freaking PTSD! I can't even listen to yeah. it because everyone's just spamming. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Yeah. I can't. I, I could. I had to. I had to mute it. Let me get one more time. <laughs> <laughs> get it. There it is. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We lit. We lit. We back. I had to mute it. <laughs> oh. Oh, you can't hear. Okay. Okay. People, how about that? Okay. Gear freed hand control secretly OP. As James the Professor Arc is holding up the chef, did you give Not So Fast that cook? Did you give him that blend? Are you taking credit for that cook that Not So Fast is on right now? Because that's some serious cook. That's some cook right there. Now that is a, that is some cook. Win or lose or draw, he might have to get to Discord again anyway. Because that is some serious cook that that duel is on. And we're gonna go ahead and get into the hand, Don Zalu ripping Thunder Dragon, and we got we got some issues here for return winner as you're staring down a pretty formidable dueling board. He's staring down a pretty for oh, oh damn just like that's quite a good topic. <laughs> oh man, as VLS. <laughs> oh, TT. You you don't you don't hate this. You got solemn? Yeah, I think you got that. Oh man, you don't hate this if you're uh return when if you're return if you're oh damn, never mind. He's got the premature burial. So you're gonna grab back another car from the uh from the graveyard, probably getting Don here. Yeah, just go for a mm -hmm. go for a GG. So we're going to a game three. What's he playing? He's playing Earth Spell Canceler deck, dude. Earth Spell Canceler the movie. Gilosaurus. Gil, uh, Gil, yeah. Spell Canceler Turbo the movie, dude. The deck. It's pretty sick. But granted, his bracket has been kind of kind of lit for him there. He's able to to kind of get on through that. But no, he I think he uh he he just lost that one, right? Am I tripping? Pot duo is just rough, dude. It doesn't matter what you're playing, spice or otherwise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> As James the Professor Arc says, that sounds like a not so fast original. I cannot take credit. Take Dang, dude, you're not taking credit. You're not. You're not gonna. You're not gonna. WGM invented it. Okay. WGM definitely gives up no credit, dude. He's he just a. That's just that's it, man. That's it. So pot duo sitting in the bin. Heavy storm for three. Jar. Yep. What else? Looks like it's gonna be three. Yeah. Dang, you take that though. So you really get a two because the jar okay, paid for itself. This is a good clap back. <laughs> I like that. I like a little I like a little timely rebuttal as you're getting the graceful charity being played. Let's see if blow back enjoyer can find <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. warrior returning alive. <laughs> let's, let's go. Let's go. 
Let's go. I would have kept that though, man. Get that Blade Knight back and get mm-hmm. active, dude. You can't do nothing against the Zombira though, but still. Sure. John Doe says, some... "Hold on, I gotta read this comment." John Doe says, "Duo yeah. is not a good card." Okay, you let me let me have Duo. <laughs> How about this? We play, and you let me have Duo in my opening hand every single time, and then let's just play that way. And let's see how many times you win. And it won't be a lot because that's just how it goes, man. That's go format in a nutshell. You can't be changing your deck up and playing Electric Snakes either. None, none of that. No Despair from the Darks either. Got to keep it real. Delinquent Duo is a freaking phenomenal card. It's too strong. I hate it. I hate Delinquent Duo. If they banned it, I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be mad, honestly. I don't, I don't like the card. I think it's it's a bad for the game. But that's that's a whole other rant. I'm not going on that rant right now. <laughs> I'm not going on that rant right now. As uh, Blowback Enjoyer is going to go ahead and reach on in with this tribe infecting virus. <laughs> and then we're going to hit the Nomen across out. And now you're able to punch on in with another 16. Oh my goodness. Oh, another Mirror Force. Dang. Wow. That's a lot of Mirror Force we've seen in rapid succession with the main phase two gear free slam. You know what? I like whenever I do play Gear Free, which is isn't that, isn't that common, but I love playing Gear Free sometimes. And then you go back in and you look at the replay and you see that they have Snatch Steel in your hand. You feel so validated. Yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. You look in their hand and the replay, and be like, oh, they had it the whole time. They couldn't do anything because yep. Gear Free was just working on them. Their, their hand is like Snatch and Souk, and can't neither one of those cards can just do anything. But Berserk Gorilla is a great answer to the Gear Free, and you're gonna get Magician of Faith. Oh my goodness, what did the grab? Probably charity every time. Mm-hmm. MF BIF yeah. says forceful sentry is better than duo. That's why it is. It's free, and it's it's free, and it's never dead. And you're gonna open. You, oh <laughs> no! Holy shit. Oh uh, no! Dude, dang, that's rough, dude. That's rough. I would be so pissed. If I go pot and my draw is Dark Master Zork, Dark Master Zork, I'd mm-hmm. scoop. I quit. I quit. That's probably what happened. I yeah. freaking quit, dude. I get the hell out of there. But that's gonna be return winner. He's gonna go ahead and fall to uh he's gonna fall to blow back enjoyer. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> I'm I'm a child, by the way. Maybe just enjoy blowback, you know, that's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing mm-hmm. wrong with that. All right, we're gonna hop back up to the win- to the winner side. We're gonna see what Big Splev is cooking. Yeah. Back in the uh, back on the top bracket here. We just want to take a little quick soiree into Dogtown. But now we're hopping back up mm-hmm. to the winner's side, and it is Big Splev versus Arturo Svengali playing some Warriors right here. And this deck's solid, man. Warriors is pretty damn good. Warriors are another pretty damn good deck. Dust Shoot is better than Duo. Let's stop, man. Come on, let's be real. Let's be real, please. Can we be real for? Can I? Can I? Can we be real a second, just for a millisecond, dude? Please, for a nanosecond. Let's be real, man. Delinquent Duo is not better than Trap Dust Shoot, or Trap Dust Shoot is not better than Delinquent Duo. It's just not. Delinquent Duo is a spell card. You can play it on your own turn. It's faster. It's more elegant. It's not dead as often. People can play around, do a shoot. It's harder to play around, duo. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, there's arguments to be made. There is arguments to be made. But I, I, I think duo is just crazy. You get two cards, okay? Hey, Zeus, Gonzalez. OG Betchy says, has anyone's card been pulled just yet? No, there's been a severe lack of card pulling in this stream, in the booth, and also in the, in the, in the, in the dueling field here. There's been a complete lack of cards being pulled. No one has pulled anyone's card. You know, everyone's pretty much keeping it real. There's no capping. There's no wolf tickets. There's no card that needs to be pulled just yet. So mm-hmm. <laughs> there's there's no uh, there's no need for anyone's card to be pulled because everyone's keeping it real in here. Well, I did I did kind of have to pull Clay Vision's card ever so slight, just a slight tug on a card because he said he he created blowback blowback reasoning gate deck and i was like i don't know man it could be someone else you gotta show some receipts you know what i'm saying yeah, exactly <clears throat> As... yeah it looks like um yeah this is a pretty tough matchup for cat um looks like looks like arturo got off to a pretty solid start um or else that stein would be live hmm 
but you gotta figure out a way to get the how do you get that oh he summoned kaiku after the gigantes you just rarely see these two on the field together and i think that's oh that's gonna be a gg that's gonna yeah. be a gg no re or actually yeah yeah re. we're gonna go ahead and get that thing right on to game two but you rarely see the gigantes and the kaiku to go straight on the field across from each other duo is better against non-turbo because t-dragons and serpent i mean that's gonna happen some some portion of the time but some portion of the time you're gonna get a chance to go first and some portion of the time you're going to have the liquid duo in your hand and some portion of the time they're not going to have sinister serpent and in those portions of the time the liquid duo is much better than trap that shoot and those portions of the time happen a little bit more than not i would say so because everybody's not going to be playing those cards there are some decks that don't play thunder dragon in a sense serpent. believe it or not there are some decks that you know what i'm saying really get hurt by delinquent duo a lot so i think the card two cards out of your hand is just a feels bad type situation as plevin is going to get to go first this time big splev slamming the goblins right now like right now if arturo gets hit by delinquent duo he's feeling worse Worse for wear, because he's losing two legitimate cards from his go format dueling hand, whereas Trap Dust Shoot probably isn't even a part of this equation because he's taking it out, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Just thoughts. What do you think, Nova? What do you think about delinquent duo and trap dust shoot? Which one do you think is better? If you had to just if you had to just pick. Gun to your head, mm. blow back to your head, dude. If blowback was <laughs> to your head, which one are you picking? Man, uh, I think yeah, blow back to my head. Blow back to your yeah. head. I gotta say, I I gotta disagree. I gotta go. I gotta go. Dust shoot. Getting you, here. you think dust shoot's um, better than duo? Dude, your head just got blown yeah. off, dude. Your head just got blown all the way off. Hear got... me out. Hear me out. You okay. Can, okay. As as someone made the point in the chat, you can play three. That's um, facts. That is that is that facts. Is very strong. That is. Let me uh, let me shoot myself now. I gotta I gotta shoot myself. I do have I do have to shoot myself on that one, dude. That is fact. I was see I I was arguing in a vacuum. I was in a vacuum and I was doing card for card. I didn't I did not I did not extend out for the actual fact that you can have three in of one. So that might play in. You might be onto something. Y'all might be spitting. Yeah, I might be spitting. I don't yeah, eat that. I think I think they're about I think they're about I don't know. I think they're definitely situational. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, but yeah, I think personally, yeah, I would love to see a duo is better obviously like um i think maybe in a vacuum yeah as you said mm -hmm. um but does shoot going first is i think incredible it's one of the best plays you can do in the format yeah and just seeing i guess you get to see all their cards and send their best card it's a it's a pain in the ass dude it's such a it's such a kick in the yeah. nut sometimes man especially when when oh exile on the set blade knight feels bad but especially like late mm -hmm. game when when you're playing and the game is just vibing and then you get hit by a duo and then you're able to vibe back and then you get hit by another one like five turns later and you're like oh come on man cut me some freaking slack dude yeah those, those yeah. are the, those yeah, are nothing's the... worse than getting your your opponent goes first they hit you with duo set them off and then they flip it again and you're like all right what are we doing here <laughs> yeah it's it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a bad situation man or no, I'm talking about. Oh, I said, do I miss shoot, 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 shoot? Like even if you're like oh, getting yeah. getting shot, does shot late later in the game, it just hurts even more. As you're gonna send out the freaking uh Mystic Swordsman level two against the goblins. I don't even know if I keep that Mystic Swordsman level two in this deck for this match right now. That thing will be deep within the side deck. I feel that Mystic Swordsman level two versus this mm. Splev build might not be the best card. I'm not sure because all his guys can just easily waylay this guy. Easily with the grace of with the grace of ease. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. One more point on the dust shoot versus duo. Uh, oh wow, this movie is very strong. Oof. Um, me, yeah. It's it's dust shoot is better against turbo than duo is against turbo. Yeah. in my opinion. Um, and as as a goo player, kind of always have to have the dust shoots ready. Um, to to be able to <laughs> at least combat. Turbo, so. You might you might be onto something yeah. there. You might be on something, especially the night because they're all rocking night ass these days and the Thunder Dragons and the mm -hmm. Serpents. And like, I do find myself holding duo a lot more than I would. I would probably never hold shoot. I, if I could play it, I'm probably getting it up and used. Yes, so that might, 
you might you guys might be spitting. I might be swayed. I might be swayed, man. See what I'm talking about. This is a nice debate that I feel I might feel swayed. Just no MST from the hand is what you need here, as you need this Mobius the Frost Monarch to just stick right here. And you're gonna get a quality cleanup on this berserk too. Dang that hurt. that's a feels bad. That's a that's a stupid gorilla right there. Like, bro, don't you see this big guy here? Won't you just turn around? He's like, nah. <laughs> just stop, dude. Don't you see this? He's like, nah, bro. I already said I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Hate to see it. As Rhoda is gonna be played. Is there gonna be Don? Are we about to get a Don appearance? Rhoda for Don. Rhoda <laughs> Don. Is that is that happening? Rhoda for Blade, maybe? Base boost and push for some damage. Let's see what it Does is. The does the DZ and JDZ stand for Don Zalu? Hey, maybe that's possible. I can change it up. Let's see, J, J, <laughs> just Justin Don Zalu. Nope, Junior. Hefe mm. Hefe Don Zalu. I don't Hefe know. Don <laughs> something. Good, good. We can we can work on that. We can work on something. As we're gonna get the Blade Knight base boost and punch in for forty four. And Big Blade has got a big problem now. You got this board. It's a lot of beefy battle bodacious baddies on the field. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is solid. Just, dude, slam, slam, uh, Gaia power and stall, dude. Don't got it. Sakuretsu, and that's going to be a GG. Yep. As Arturo Svengali rocking the Warriors come out to play. And Warriors, and, and, and as a, as a goo, as a goo man myself, Warriors mm -hmm. are just atrocious to play against, dude. They just, they just, <laughs> absorb goo dude they just take it and just body goo so hard it feels so bad sometimes because you got this deck and i'm over here i got freaking lord poison in my hand and i'm got freaking right. <laughs> you know what i'm saying i got fairy king truesdale in my hand and they're staring down I'm standing there blade night dawn i'm like dude this fucking sucks mm -hmm. dude give me some time mm -hmm. to goo up right <laughs> but, yeah <laughs> Let my goo load up. Let it load up. Give me like five turns and then we can play. Let, let, me, let me get some time to goo up real quick and then we can play. But you're jumping on me like too fast and I can't, I can't, I can't keep up. <laughs> Warrior. Big, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and go back. So now we're going to go down into Dogtown. We are officially, we're not in round two. We haven't ever been in round two since round two, but I just never changed it. Sue me. You know what I'm saying? Sue me. We're going back down to Dogtown, and we're going to see what Not So Fast is cooking. Let's see if we can get a little another sneak peek at that cook. And he's playing against the Blowback Enjoyer, dude. The <laughs> That's so funny. He, the BBE. BBE. All my BBEs in chat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> All the BBEs in the house. Say what up. <laughs> Say what up. All right. I'm chilling, dude. I need to chill. I need to chill, bro, as we're going to have no choice but to. <laughs> yeah, I, the Gear Feed Warrior is a weird cross between a goo player and a, an anti goo player. Um, is is that? Is that <laughs> who's, who's on anti goo? If, if, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah if, if a warrior player is wearing the helmet and the goo players are wearing. Some nice suits, you know. Yeah. Some, you know, some tuxedos. I think yeah. a yeah. gear free player is is wearing a helmet with a nice tux. <laughs> or like, or like a like a suit with the sleeves ripped off and like some shorts and some construction boots mm, or something like that. Yep. That's yep. that's probably what it is. Like you can go on a Zoom call, but you also can go to like a skate park or something, and just be fine mm -hmm. in both. I think that's kind of where the because yeah. it's a lot of it's it's some goo, man. But like you said, it's very aggressive. Aggressive and goo just feels bad, dude. It feels it hurts like it, it's hard because you got to take some time to set up whatever shenanigans you're trying to do. It's not going to be a turn yeah. one shenanigans set, set up. I need I need to get my Ojama Hurricane or something. I need to get yeah, a cat. The, I need... the warrior, yeah, yeah, the warrior player is not going to let you get two water monsters in the graveyard and then you know banish two for Lakunga. It's not going <laughs> yeah, to happen. happen. <laughs> Dude, you know the vibes too well. You know yeah, you know exactly absolutely. what I'm talking about, man. So absolutely, man. Yep. <laughs> But that's a good, that's a very convenient DD, blind DD Warriors lady slam into a song going not um, so fast, probably feeling bad about that. He don't care though. He's got the Serpent or Reaper as a follow-up as you go ahead and get a Reap of the Hand and it's going to be the Don Zalug. Okay. Okay. So you're not feeling too bad. <laughs> you're, you're not feeling too bad. ironic. 
I hope I hope that there's actually a blowback in this deck. I want to see mm. I want to mm -hmm. see I want to see a blowback dragon. And there's delinquent duo coming on in. There it is. The delinquent there duo. Is. Now here it's yeah, here it's crazy. Yeah, look, see, look at that. Look at that, man. Look at that. Getting two good cards from the hand. It sucks. That card it's unfair, by the way. I don't I don't think it should be a part of the game. You know Shaggy, Shaggy powers every day at top. Yeah, that's it. I can, I can imagine. I can imagine Shaggy out there going to a business meeting with just a ripped off suit, no sleeves, mm -hmm. construction boots, and like some jorts, mm -hmm. and just hey, that's me. Deal with it. As now you have the Spirit Reaper though, in attack position, you're probably able to throw that bad boy into defense position and save yourself some damage. Just like you guys can save us some time by hitting that like button. That was lame as hell, man. I gotta work on my like button trend. I gotta, I gotta work on them, dude. That was mid, dude. That was bad. It was in stride, though. You I was, didn't fall. Yeah, you, did, you just let it rip. You I just let it rip. You gotta, you, it's because usually it's like whatever you're. It's like um, what are those things like the uh, oh, man, the little things you do in the kit. You got like, it's like a the, the little puzzles you do. Not the puzzle, like the word puzzles. You got. I need a noun. I need a verb. I need an adjective. Oh, mad lib. Mad, it's yes. like a mad. It's like a mad lib. But everything yes. you just replace. The, the the verb is hit the like button. You know what I'm saying? It's the Mad Lib verb is hit the like. Do whatever, yeah. whatever to the like button, dude. That's it. Yeah. And I just didn't, I just didn't have a good one set up. It's on me. Sorry, we scratched that one off the list. It, know, they all the can't, list. they all can't be doves, dude. There's gonna be some right, L's, right. okay? There's gonna be a mega. Yeah. There's gonna be L's along the way. But you keep vibing though, man. Mm -hmm. You keep vibing and thriving, dude. That's it. And that's all you can ever ask for. Feel me? Is there nimble momonga and not so fast grave there is that's pretty sweet there is there is a nimble momonga among us dude so he's going full <laughs> 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 he's going full earth like i think this deck is cool man he's cooking mm -hmm. he's cooking every time someone hits the like button it's a dub <laughs> It's the dub as you're gonna go second reaper solomon the second reaper you don't hate that You'll take half the life for a little Reaper sent to the bin. That card in hand must be really damn good. As we're going to take another call here to bring oh. <laughs> the, the flying. Someone's the best card in the format the, to deal in 1,000. Yeah, Dude, he's going to smack in. We're going to bring in the flying squirrel, the super. He's not the super nimble mega Momonga. Just a regular Momonga mm -hmm. is among us. And Blade Knight, mm -hmm. will he attack? He's not gonna take the Momonga challenge. You got punked out. Eliminated by the Momonga. <laughs> he got punked by a little freaking flying squirrel. Psst. Not a chance, dude. Go ahead and blow. <laughs> Go ahead and blow back that like button. <laughs> Go ahead. Dude. dude. Go ahead and blow back that like button, dude. Get on in to that like button, dude. Can't hit it. It's too nimble. As PJ comes on in with another two dollar super chat. Much love, PJ. Says the Momonga, oh, the Momonga, Momonga, the tournament MVP. Yeah, I think. I think no matter what happens, I think not so fast might have to just walk on with the. I'm just gonna send not so fast to Nitro, dude, because he's coming out with the heat, dude. This is heat. Mm -hmm. He's coming out with the heat. Yo, thank you so much, PJ. Again. Thank you. This, this the two dollars Canadian will go towards some Discord Nitro and maybe you have to play the soccer retsu armor on the nimble Momonga. Feels bad. Say Momonga for a game we all Vince. Like, dude, that been I was amazing. about to throw myself back out of this chair, dude. Mm -hmm. Real time Vince. Real time <laughs> live action. <laughs> live action. Ooh, but now we might have the cards it takes to take over this game here. As you got Call of the Haunted. Call for Blade, call for Don, call for Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, actually. And we're going to TT that right away. BLS off. BLS is just nutty. Oh, he don't have it. Going to set one card in the field, defense position, pass it on over. Not so fast on the play. Let's see what it's going to be. And we're going to go for it. Gigantes is going to spam to the field. The log wielding menace. Dude, yeah. How crazy would, uh, how crazy would, uh, not, what's his name? Grandmark. Grandma would have just went stupid. Yep. Get back duo. Well, that's all you got. Only target. That feels bad. <laughs> no, that's a bad duo. Okay, I'm losing the argument. That's a bad duo in that instance. And this is going to be a GG. And it's going to be Heavy Storm and Delinquent duo. He had Solemn. And it's going to be a 
Blast with Chain. Okay, yeah, you're done. Cool deck. Cool mm-hmm. Chain. Cool deck. Very solid run for BBE. <laughs> BBE. Taken All the BBEs out three there. Three and two. I like it. Not so fast still on the cook, though. And now we got a OG Betchy and Nate Dog trying to make a dog run mm-hmm. over here. So let's hop on in and see what they got cooking yeah, over there. Absolutely. Let's see. Absolutely. Let's see what they got cooking over there. As Nate Dog's playing the playing the Stein ski, it looks like still, right? All right, let's see. I got my yeah, graphics. Yeah, I remember Nate said uh, playing playing Stein is tough, or playing Stein Monarch is tough in uh, the dust shoot meta, and I don't blame him. Yeah. Um, just but, yeah, monarch, monarchs in general, just having a lot of extra additional mons in your hand, it just feels bad. It don't feel good, man. It really doesn't. All right, so we're going to let me see if I can fix my screen for for one. Give me give me just one second, folks. I'm sorry, I, my screen is like all jacked. So I got I'm a one screen pimping over here still. So let's see if all right. Let's see. All right, that should be that should be good enough there. It's probably still off kilter a little bit, but we vibe. We're gonna rock with it. Mm-hmm. Someday I'll get a new monitor, and we're gonna be chilling. As we play the heavy storm, so Nate Dog hits the heavy for a jar. You probably don't care in Sakura's army. You probably care about that one, but maybe you can go for a kill here. As Sacred Crane spam to the field, Monster Gate is the play. Hoping for a Demok, maybe even a Cyber Stein in this particular situation. Demok's already in a band, so that won't do a damn thing for you. Summon pot for two. Let's go, BG. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna be Genzo. You don't hate that. Got uh, the cyberpunk legend himself. The, the an- inspired the whole genre. The android cy- psycho shocker. Genzo inspired yeah. cyberpunk. Is that true? No. no. Is that facts? No. Keep it no, real, man. No, that, that would be that would be sick. I'm a big fan of cyberpunk stuff, but uh, I mean, he definitely fits the vibe. What? I whether it came first, what, I don't know. Um, what my, my screen is moving. I'm sorry, guys. I'm kind of moving my screen around. What exactly is cyberpunk for a layman who may not know what cyberpunk mm. is? Cyberpunk is, I guess, a it's an aesthetic. I would say that sounds very pretentious when I say that. It doesn't. <laughs> Dude, we're 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 um, we're RC but... over here, man. We're 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 RC over here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but cyberpunk, I would say, is you know thinking about things that take place in the future, maybe a future society where the class structure is super uneven there's a lot of crime um there's a lot of poor weather like people don't want to go outside because it's constantly raining. yeah what are some what are some um, examples like give me give me some examples of cyberpunk in in media day as crimson 90 comes in with the five dollars man much love crimson 90 five dollar yeah. super chat saying put this towards the second monitor quit slumming also, spell canceler is the spice MVP. Okay, okay, much love. I appreciate that. And maybe we could do that, man. Maybe I gotta get my life together, dude. I just need a bigger. De- See, the thing about it, and I've mentioned this in other publications, and I'll get back to the. I'll get back. I just want to talk to talk about this real quick while I'm thinking yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. If I want to get a second monitor, I gotta get a new desk. If I want to get a new desk, I gotta move my whole setup. If I want to move my whole setup, I gotta find another place to put the setup. And I'm not trying to do all that. That's what. That's the issue. I gotta get a longer desk. To put the monitor on there, and then because my desk is like so short, and I just, I, just, but you know what, Crimson ninety, you just inspired me. I'll take, I will take the five dollars, and I will put it towards the new monitor operation, and we'll get it happen. All right, sorry, back to cyberpunk, back to back to the cyberpunk. So, what are some examples of cyberpunk in media, just so I can get my ideas flowing of what we're talking about? Mm-hmm. Yo, well, Spooky is spitting in chat right now. Oh. He's seeing, he's saying, oh, bro. It, Styrofunk started with a Blade Runner, um, a Ridley Scott film back in the 70s, ah, um, let, which let me... was an adaptation of a, a book um, called Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Oof. Um, which was written in the 60s by Philip K. Dick. But yeah, um, Blade it... Runner, Akira, Ghost in the Shell. Ah, okay, um, okay. Kind of like. Um... Oh, what was that? What was that one show? Uh, Aeon Flux is that Cyberpunk? Mm-hmm. Yep. Nice. Also, Cyberpunk Edge Runners is a really uh, more recent uh, release that is based off the Cyberpunk 2077 video game, um, and that's got all kinds of vibes in it. Let's see. Let's see if I can. So. Let's see if I can set the tone, dude. Cyber, Cyberpunk. Because I, when I hear the word punk, I think of like people with like 
punk hairstyles and like punk i think of punk and i'm like okay punk rock and i think of people doing punk dances and punk shit like that and i'm like okay Mm -hmm. and i just think of people with like laser glasses like back to the future 2 in the future that's what i think about cyberpunk and i'm let's see cyberpunk music all right let's see what we got this is royalty free okay they better not fucking they better not dude let's see what this Four hours of cyberpunk dark synth mix, dude. Royal t- let's see, let's see what we got. Twitch safe. We're okay. gonna start sounding a lot like Yu-Gi-Oh! Five Ds in a second. <laughs> oh. I can ride with this. A lot of, a lot of synths and and five D soundtrack. I think. Can you hear it? You can't hear it, can you? No. Oh, I'm with this, dude. I can't hear it, but. Um... Oh yeah. Okay, okay, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. That's lit, dude. <laughs> that was good, dude. That was pretty damn good. That was pretty. Yeah, good. It's a whole vibe. It's a whole vibe. It's what I listen to when I play my matches. Some cyberpunk. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. That's pretty. Kind of sound like uh like Nine Inch Nails a lot. Is Nine Inch Nails cyberpunk. Ooh, that's a good question. I think depending on you who you ask. Like that, their their music's very like industrial, and a lot of cyberpunk is very industrial. So. Let me tell you, fun fun fact, man. I I I've listened to the album "Pretty Hate Machine" by Nine Inch Nails probably about 150 times, <laughs> at least. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it's one it's, of my favorites. I love that. I love it. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. Their later Are stuff. A, it's, it's it's it's. I don't know. It hit me. It hit me at the right time in my life. I don't know what it yeah. is, but that freaking that album, dude. It's just bangers. It's nonstop clappers after clappers after clappers, man. Mm-hmm. And if that's uh, if that's if that's cyberpunk, then I'm a cyberpunk, dude. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> check it out. I don't know if that's. <laughs> <laughs> it might not qualify. I don't know. Yeah, it, it could be. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> is that the one with um. That was the early one. That's one with the uh, down in it. Um, that was the one with um. <sighs> It has, it has, it has, it's the, the, not, it's the earliest one. It's like one of the earlier ones, like one from like the eighties. Oh yeah. Yeah. I was thinking of, um, I was thinking of downward spiral. Downward spiral is the, that's the one with the closer on it. I think, yeah. I think that's, that one's, that one's a newer one. Yes. One. Yep. All right. Yeah, 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 that yeah, one, yeah. that one might, that one might, that one, I don't think that's cyberpunk. I don't think, I don't think that one does a hit All the right. same. All right. All right. Heard. Yeah. But I'll still check I'll check out um check out the other one. Yeah, the first the first one, dude. But Nova Ethos is actually um so I do a little bit of writing. Uh huh. Um a little bit of sci fi writing. And Nova okay. Ethos is actually a cyberpunk city. That is what the name came from. Well look at that, dude. Um, you yeah, do you have so, anything uh do you have anything published, like any short stories or something that I could that you could share? Yeah, that, I'll that, send you. Yeah, I I'm do. serious. I I'll, I'll, I'll I do I, I love I love supporting some uh I love supporting the GOAT format community as Beachy's out here apparently getting reasoning gated to the max, dude. In that situation, yeah, yeah. I think you might have to just call the eight and just roll the dice. And now you're about to get democked <laughs> into blowback ski. No, Black Gatlin, Gat Nasty. Mm hmm. Gat Nasty. He's definitely a, a, a BBE. Nate Dog's a BBE. Yeah. Nate? Someone even say Gatling Dragon is cyberpunk. Hey, is he? Now I got now I got to look I up more cyber. Say, I, like a little high tech, a little high tech action. Yeah, he might be you cyberpunk. It's, heads. Is uh is RoboCop cyberpunk? Hmm. <laughs> I I guess I guess kinda. Yeah. I I haven't I haven't I haven't seen that in a long time. I can't remember where like the. It was in call. It was a setting. The setting. It was in New. Oh, it was it was in it was in New Detroit. Oh, Dimitri is coming back. That's rough. It was in a city called New Detroit, and hmm. RoboCop. It's the the plot is like. Their economy is just in shambles. The police can't be funded, so they try to get this private corporation to come in, OCP, huh? And then they make the robotic police to patrol the city, and then they make RoboCop and send it to the police department. And the vibes, dude, there's like a futuristic stuff in there. RoboCop, yeah, Spooky, who is a cyberpunk aficionado, RoboCop mm-hmm. is very cyberpunk. Again, cyberpunk is high tech but low quality of life. RoboCop fits that description. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm locked in. Now I'm locked in. He's I, locked in with RoboCop. <laughs> I'm locked in. No, dude, I'll buy that for a dollar. I love that damn movie. You talk about a good movie. You need to go watch RoboCop right now. If you haven't seen RoboCop, 
go ahead and shut the stream off. <laughs> go ahead and pull pull RoboCop up and watch it. Part one is probably where you, where you want to stop that though. I'll buy that mm. for a dollar. That movie's great, dude. <laughs> Kane. Right, was Kane a one? Oh, no, no, no. What was his name? Dude, that movie's great, dude. Oh, my goodness. And we got double Gatling on the field. I don't even own two Gatling Dragons. Can you believe it? I couldn't make this I play. I a single one. <laughs> I, could, I, couldn't, I couldn't make this play in real life, which just sucks, dude. Gatling Dragon mm. needs to reprint. For, for, just make it happen. As Nate Dog is getting busy, double Gat Nasty popping, doing what we got to do. I'd buy that for a dollar. Dude, I love that damn movie. Oh, my goodness. And then RoboCop comes on in. The sound, and it got the... It's so good, dude. The leg gun. I might watch that tonight. I might fire that bad boy up tonight. I have the HD, you know what I'm saying, version. As Betchy is sitting here, LOL, all around. You got it. I thought Graceful Charity would do it, but it looks like OG Betchy is about to get blasted. All you had to do is call eight. You brought this onto yourself. You really did. You really started this whole thing. All you had to do was call eight, and you just didn't do it for whatever reason. Your feelings froggy, and you got frogged. Write that down. I had the RoboCop action figure when I was a boy. Good times. <laughs> 10 out of 10. It's got the machine gun, full auto, Desert Eagle in the side, side leg contraption. And then I, I like I like There's RoboCop. Yeah, I like yeah, RoboCop, no. but I like the uh, I like the little the Ed guy too. The little like the little drone thing that they had, like the the little machine that could just. Oh, I like that movie's sick, dude. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Sorry. Oh no, Chris is saying Chris Cash on the chat saying that the background of DD Warrior Lady is cyberpunk. Dude, yeah, now you guys got I'm me. I'm on board with that. That's I'm got on board with that that's, for that's, sure. That's that's gotta be right. It's got. Yeah. It's got a whole little lore behind it, huh? Maybe, maybe mm -hmm. we're cracking the code. Thank you so much for teaching me about Cyberpunk now. I'm, I'm going to give them a little, yeah. another taste test of this, dude. Maybe they won't DM. Dude, copyright free. DMCA, don't get me. We have set for the Gatling Wars blowback. If it was a BBE oh, dragon, God. then maybe we'd be popping some set cards, <laughs> but that is not the case as... We're gonna get Crane back. Oh no! Is that Jinzo? Yeah, that's only target. Oh, I about to say. I was say Jinzo might have been in there. Would have been sick. And we're gonna have to RB that. <laughs> Betchy typing a T. That's uh, <laughs> you know, means a lot. <laughs> <laughs> maybe think T. Maybe maybe think. Maybe that's a shorthand for think, uh, dude. Yeah. Oh, oh, that could be that could be very good. Oh, he's gonna switch one to the defense position, and it was Sakuretsu. Oh, that's feeling bad. Well, could wait. Mirror Force could still be live though. Could yeah, I guess you, you you probably made the right play. You probably made the right play. Because mm -hmm. we can't see another tremendous Mirror Force happen. We've already seen several Mirror Forces go down, and it feels bad. It's a not feels good type situation. As a sure priest is gonna be able to come after this Gat Dragon. And that sucks, man, because maybe you should have went for it. Yeah, you should have sold me. Yeah, because oh, you duo. Ah. It's a very strong duo here. Maybe you probably should have went for it because you know that they had the Assure yeah. Priest. And yeah. if they died, it was going to die either way. So you but yeah. you, you might keep that uh kept that uh, you would have lived, I suppose. And we're gonna yeah. chain the reckless. Whoa. Ooh. This is bold. Whoa. This is bold. This is bold. <laughs> this is bold. <laughs> Cause you're locking yourself out of the game. This is bold and dare. He's on the back foot. He's on the back foot. Uh, hit the monster oh. reincarnation. Was there a chaos? There's no. He had, he could have brought back the yep. crane for game. And now you're reckless locked for two turns. G. One out of two. Oh man. Oh. It's Maybe he has something. Yep. Reasoning. You got to get this one right. You need it to. You need it to be right. I think he calling six. Okay, Jenzo beats you, so yeah. I don't hate calling six. But you yep. better have a good trap. If this crane comes in, you just lose. Or if the the freaking oh he hit too, oh, and he hit it. What else we got? <laughs> no way. GG, 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 and that is gonna be the dope. Oh, wait, no, it's <laughs> not. Like... It's not over. I ain't hear no bell, and we're gonna go for a sort. What? Well, I'm sharking. Attack. I'm sharking. Uh, well, 
Oh, he had it. He had. He just. He just scooped it out. He just scooped it out. Okay. Yeah, he had both. Cool. He had both. He had a regeki break and his, okay. He had it all. He had it. He had it. He had it all. He had it all. Well, GGs though. GGs. 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 All right. All right. So it looks like we have not so fast and OG Betty gonna be locking horns here in the uh, losers semifinals, and then we got losers finals. And then we'll jump back up to the top bracket. Thank you, everybody, for participating in this tournament and hanging out for this Friday night stream. It's pretty chill. Chill vibes only is kind of what we wanted, what we wanted to achieve. And it's pretty, it's happening, you know, ever so, ever so much. You know, talking movies, talking music, learning about cyberpunk, huh? You learn something every day. Mm -hmm. And today I learned what cyberpunk was. And we are in the dog town. All right. So we got, we have to be, it should be, they should be hosting up here soon. Where is that freaking, uh, where's that game at? Let's see what we got here as not so fast, not so fast. Are they hosting? Mm, I don't see them. Are they, they hosting? Maybe they're, uh, maybe they're taking a quick, a quick break unless they just said, you know what? I'm out of here. I've seen enough. I've had enough. I'm gone as not so fast. And Betchy should be locking horns here very soon. Where is this thing at? Betchy. Oh, Betchy's hosting. All right. Cool. 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 But if you're just coming in, if you guys can continue to uh, continue <laughs> to assault the like button. Do I can, now I got some. Now I'm self conscious. Now I can't even. I can't even go back into my. <laughs> I have to be like calm with it now. I have to just be like mm -hmm. very calm for a little while with it because I'm, I'm self conscious because I dropped. I fumbled the bag that one time. So now it's just like, mm -hmm. hey man, if you gave it, if it doesn't cause you any, you know, can you just click the mouse on your, the like button, please. <laughs> like just gently, like gently t just click the mouse on the like button. That's it. A little tap. Just a do little, for, just a little tap. Do it for the spice. <laughs> All right, Nova, but I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use the facilities real quick. I'm gonna be right back. You guys keep holding it down. All right. So, as, as not so fast says in the tournament chat, how am I beating chaos turbo, bro? <laughs> before heading into this match. So, um, let's see, they are, I don't know if JDZ has it it's up. Yep, okay. We're in. TD pop. For those of you just joining us, Betchy is on the turbo and not so fast is on a deck that I can only describe as um, a a piece of genius, uh, but <laughs> a real a real uh, Magna Carta of spice, and I think he's gonna slam into what he hopes is not faith, but we will see. Yeah, okay, he's gonna RB that. Hmm. So we have the the Millennium card sleeve in here. here. Uh, we have t we have one TD left in hand for Betchy, and all right, I'm back. What did I miss? Anything cool happened? Uh, not not too much. Just... I was just uh. Just, just saying. Oh, just, I didn't know how exactly to describe how to, not so fast as deck, so I just called it. Uh, I don't even know what I called it. This, it's a Earth, it's a Earth canceler, dude. Earth is canceled. Earth canceled deck. I love this. This is cool. Mm. This is cool. I like what he's got going on. It's a Earth, Earth aggro spell canceler assault deck, dude. I'm with it. It's I'm, something special. I'm with it. <laughs> it's it's something Bashan Masawa would would draw on the walls in his in his yellow dorm. Like he's like drawing all these calculations out. That's what not so fast did before. He's cooking and he's got Jar Free too. Able to fit the jog in there. I'm with that. Mm -hmm. Love to see it. Love I'm to see with it. that. Provide some nice consistency to this <laughs> buttery mix. <laughs> mix. I like that. That's some good cook. Mm -hmm. That's some mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Yo, uh, what is the what oh, is jar in the in the recipe? What what ingredient is that? Jar would probably be like a like some type of oil. Something just keep it slick and moving. You know what I'm saying? Oil goes in everything. Not seed oil though. Maybe seed oil. Whatever kind of oil you got. Maybe like some type of some type of olive oil or something. It's got to be something that's like goes in a lot of cuisines and just makes it right, dude. 
this gets a little slip, a little slippity slip. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Jog. Yeah. You can't, I mean, because you, you can't live without it. But it's, your life's going to be yes. a little bit worse. You know what I'm saying? If you do. Mm-hmm. That's so that, perfect. That's, that's, that's perfect analogy. I've, I've, you got I've, it. Even, have you been thinking about this before? Have I haven't, man. I, I, this, is all, this is all from <laughs> the, the this is all for, off the top of the dome from the heart, dude. From the heart. Love it. Yo, Love it. Stout, Stout Astronaut, man. What's up, man? How have you been? Where is where has Stout Astronaut been at? Get up in this tournament, big dog. I need to see you out here playing. As we're going to call of the Squatch one more time. Bring back the rat, dude. Bring it back. Every time I see Giant Rat, I think of that one YouTube video. Every single time, the one I'm the giant rat. Every time I can't. I, have you seen that one? It's so good, no, dude. What are you, it's what? so good, dude. You never seen that one? Rats, we're rats. We're the rats. You never seen that one? Oh, dude, I have tagged him sometimes. From something? It's from I don't know where it's from, but it's definitely on YouTube, and it was like a hit for for a while. Rats, mm. we're rats. We're the rats. We we pray at night. We stalk at night. We're the. I'm gonna have to send it to you, dude. It's too funny. <laughs> Um, the are giant rats, rat. are rats singing that? Are yeah, rats it's like that? it's rats in there. Oh, call on the spell canceler beer force again. It, I think, uh, oh. Everyone got it today. I haven't seen so many mirror forces go off in such a short amount of time as uh, spell counselor finds his way on off the field and into the graveyard. OG Betchy sitting here with two cards on the. I think that call of hunt is definitely gone, right? Why would that call a hundred be still on the field? That should be in the graveyard. If I'm, I could be missing something. Yeah, I call a hundred should be gone. I'll. Uh, I don't know if they. I don't know if they. Um, yeah. No, what? did they? No, it didn't. They sack it up for. You used it on the rat, and then. Oh, that's right. You're right. Never mind. Damn, I knew I missed day. something. I knew. I, I knew I was missing something. Mm. I'm such an idiot, dude. I am so freaking dumb. I knew I was missing something. Cause he's summon rat and sack. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm also oh, bad. Good. Earlier, earlier I said you could play Primo when spell was on the field. So. I mean, you don't see too many spell counts. I just need to drink a little. I need a little That's another true. sip. I need another sip. That's all. Just another sip. Mm-hmm. Got to stay locked in. Water bill's through the roof, dude. Water bill is through the damn roof. Oh my goodness. Um, Water bill's going up. I think it's because I've been running yeah. a lot, dude. Okay. <clears throat> that that nice crisp uh, Pacific Northwest weather. Yeah, man. I've been I've been running. I'm trying to get back in shape, and I'm getting my mm. ass kicked out there on the on the go format dueling running track, dude. It ain't working. That's probably why I'm so dehydrated, man. But good grief, man. As you're gonna go ahead and get. How do, how do you, oh, you're going to hit the delinquent duo, get the nimble mamongas and the ring in destruction. Graveyard. This is a funny ass graveyard. Look at this grave. And we're going to go for a okay. Gigantes play here. Gigantes Solid. comes to the field. Yeah, when you're out there running, you got to you gotta let Rex, Rex Spuman take over. <laughs> dude, so I have, <laughs> dude, I have to, I'm out there running. Whenever I'm running, it's such a, it's such a regret every time. Like I'm praying, I'm praying to the old gods. I'm praying to the new gods. I'm praying to everyone to hear my plea to just make what I'm doing cease. And it feels, yeah. it's just, it's just pain, dude. But you got to hurt yeah. to live, I guess, man. I don't know. And we're going to solemn. Ooh, this Zambira killing this Gigantes is like a plus infinity. You need it to freaking main, live, dude. A main deck. Damage step. You. Got him. As you. Oh. <laughs> Oh, got him. As you've been blasted, dude, the chain has resolved and Gigantes survives, dude. Love to see if, that. If Gigantes is destroyed by battle here, Blast won't resolve, right? I don't think it will. Yeah. Okay. I'd have to call a judge. I don't I don't I don't think it will, but it might. That would be a crazy synergy, but I think that's a little oh. too good to be true. I think it's a little too good to be true. It, it, I th- but I know that if um I know that if you have Gigantes and you creature swap it to your opponent and then you attack it, you can blast the guy that you attacked and then you get it. Mm. Something like that. Okay. I think you do something yeah, that like that. Right. But I don't think I don't think he gets it on his own volition. I don't think he's gonna get it mm-hmm. naturally. But mm-hmm. 
That, that should be. It's going to have to play the Ring of Destruction for game, it looks like. And I think oh. it's going to work, perhaps. Not so fast. It's going to think about it. MST is... Uh, okay. <laughs> and that's going to be the end of that. MST would have... Would that have worked? Yeah, that should have worked. And I think sure. you get a pop on your on your guy's card. And you oh, get a yeah. pop, and you get a pop on your guy's thing. That's pretty cool, man. I think Blast with Chain might be good. I think might. I think so too. <laughs> I think Blast with Chain so might too. be good, dude. I don't know. I don't know. We can figure something out. Maybe we can make a little spice Blast with Chain. Yes, this is a Zelda hoodie. This is in fact a Zelda hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Make it rain. Somebody got me this as a gift. The Song of Storms, dude. How that song go? Do 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 do. I think it's like that. Something like that. You know the vibes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sing it. I'm a huge Zelda fan. You play Zelda? Did you play the 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 Tears of the Kingdom? Oh my god! Don't even get me on my on my wall on my room behind me. I have the map of the entire entirety of Hyrule. Are you serious? I'm jealous, dude. I need need to get my game up. I need to step my game up. I'm a huge I'm a huge Zelda fan. I've played most of the games. You know what I'm saying? I'll one up you there. My youngest daughter's name is in fact Zelda, dude. That's why I I I went there with it, dude. (laughs) I did it. I did it. Wow, I, you really did. I did that. I got did you. I, did you play the new games with her? I did. I, I, we play, We kind of. She didn't play it. I see. She's still kind of, kind of young oh, with gosh, it. Gosh, we'll kind of let her run around and just like do stuff every now and then. My, my vibes, oldest, vibes. my, my oldest daughter and I. We sat down and we, we got it in. Like we got it in. We got after it. We got after it. As we're gonna go double Gila Swords. Double Gila. <laughs> Christopher S. What's cool. your favorite Zelda? It's got to be Ocarina of Time. That's just. It hits so hard for me, and my mm-hmm. my nostalgia just gets like uppercutted by that game. It's hardcore. I actually like Breath of the Wild. I like Tears. Of the I like these new ones. It goes Ocarina of Time, and then right to the right to the new ones. Like I'm serious. Ocarina of Time. I also like Link to the Past a lot. I play that game still to this day. I have an emulator on my computer. I'll fire that thing up every now and then. Just rock yeah. with it. I like them all. Yeah. I like them all, man. Oh, that's what's up, man. That's awesome. Well, some Zelda, yeah. some Zelda nerds in the in the in the in the house, dude. I I, I never would have I never would have known, man. I'm glad you dropped by. Yeah. And and bless me with that information. As yeah. as we're gonna hit the Nobman of Cross out on the set spy. So if you're not so fast, you're actually loving this. You're chilling with mm-hmm. spies out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> you're chilling. Yet she is very confused at the at this. <laughs> You're probably chilling with this, but let's see how many spies get removed from the deck, and it's going to be three and three. Yeah, so now your Gillosaurus should be able to clean up anything that not so fast can set. Mm-hmm. And you got pot too. Okay, so you're getting your you're getting your game on, and we're going to solve the pot. He says no. He <laughs> says absolutely not. As Stout says, the wife has Zelda on the N64 in the bedroom right now, getting it in, dude. Getting it in. Oh man, that game is so good, dude. That game is so freaking good. I remember being a youth when that game first came out and I was trying to play and I could not get out of Lost Woods and I was so distraught. I couldn't find the shield. I couldn't find the hole. I couldn't do anything. And I just gave up. And I was like, man, this game sucks ass. And then (laughs) I got the G2. I got the real ground truth information. Came back and became like one of my favorite things to do play that game as we're going to get gila and sangin on the beats you get the pot of greed back which sucks you paid half your life just for them to get it right back sack for spell castle there would have just been op as hell but you didn't have it Mm -hmm. play play pot for the second time this time it goes through getting two cards finally get your just desserts two of those are our thunder dragon um but I don't know how menacing these two okay. earth type dinosaurs are. The breaker is good. Maybe not now with the uh with the breaker, the magical warrior gaining a counter, getting a plus two breaker is just Ooh, never mind. Oh, <laughs> this is where it's crazy. <laughs> oh man, I probably would just Oh, you can't even attack on huh? because you get the you get bumps. <laughs> Bitch, you might have to solemn this dude. He might have to solemn this. Let's see what happens here. On activation, MST. That yeah. does work. I think that does work. Yeah, I think that does work. Before, mm-hmm. I, yeah, there is a there is a there is a time for this to happen. I I might be mis- might have to call a judge in here. No, I think I think they, yeah, I think they got it. I think I think that works. That's unfortunate though. That would have been so cool. Still, I mean, I'm I'm kind of 
a little chill with that. It's going to get broken anyway, whatever it would have been. At least you get another That's card, true. so you get to get some type of some type of rebate, some payback, you know. Yep. Mm-hmm. As Flyces Blue says, very good negate on that MST. MST does negate sometimes, and that was one of those instances. Where, <laughs> where <laughs> That's those, so funny. Yeah. The, the rare, the rare and indigenous MST negate. <laughs> Love to see it. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was about to. That blaster chain is about to go stupid, man. It was. And you're going to be able to just take out one of the Gillosaurus before passing it back on over to not so fast. Okay. Not hitting it into main phase one. Let's see what you can do here to set spells on the field. Spell traps. You got Gillosaurus. Maybe you might have to just, yeah, just go for it, dude. Mirror Force be damned. Mirror Force is about to blow, your, blow you out anyways. You might as well just send it as you got Gigantes on the field in attack position. And you're going to just send it right on into the breaker. And it will not work. You're going to get hit the ring of destruction, taking out Gigantes before potentially turtling up the rest of your dudes to protect Mm -hmm. your dwindling health box as you're in the main phase too. Tiberius says, yes, Blast has to fully resolve to be equipped. Nice play. About to slam Blast into my warrior deck right now. That's what I'm talking about, Tiberius. Taking Mm -hmm. something from this, from the spice, add a little bit of spice to your deck. I'm with it. Why not, dude? Blast seems blast seems fine. Mm-hmm. And now Breaker's going to continue to plus, smashing into the Gillosaurus, setting Carnal Field, passing it back on over to to not so fast. And let's see what we're going to do here. Game's looking a little grim. Typically, at least in my experience and things that I've seen, when you start getting Mons just killing other Mons on the field. You're probably not going to win most of those duels. As we flip saying in TT, get a card from the deck, and it's probably going to be chaos time, and we're going to go ahead and get yeah. up out of here. Yeah, it's probably just going to be BLS or Chaos Sorcerer, and that is just going to be no. Sang and Search? No Sork yeah. here, huh? We're going to grab Reaper there, and what have we grab in here? Is there a main deck DD Warrior Lady? Magician of Faith? What was that all about then? We could have... No Chaos. That really seemed like a play for Chaos there. Yeah. We got two Thunder Dragons in the hands. And now a Magician of Faith. Oh. Yeah. I guess. You go. You guys get to continue to, continue yeah, to vibe. Slam. Yeah. That's... It's tough to see, but, you know. Yeah. And maybe, I mean, maybe I've seen crazier, crazier things have happened. You get this spell card back from the, the graveyard. Maybe you can rip that from the hand and continue to mm-hmm. continue to thrive and survive. Even though mm-hmm. that Spirit Reaper is still in attack position, we've seen we've seen uh, games happen all day where Spirit Reaper has just been getting absolutely blasted by yep. everybody for game. And it hits the Tribe Infected mm-hmm. Virus, so that's a pretty good hit. Now you need to fade three more cards from the top of the deck. <laughs> that was better than pot. <laughs> oh, never mind. That no, it wasn't. Was a... And that's going to be a GG. Wait a minute. That's only 16. And you got Sook as well. Okay, so that's going to be a GG. And you got the pot. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Chill and cool. It's another game over a Spear Reaper. Hate to see it. But GG's, though, mm-hmm. to not so fast for bringing this really cool deck. And I think that is going to be... No, we still have Splevin. We still have Splevin sitting here. I, I don't know, man. That, that's still a really, really, really spicy deck, man. I might have to. We might have to pay not so fast. We'll see how it goes. We'll pull the decks up as we often do at the end of this, mm-hmm. and we'll see where the spice rolls, and we'll do a little vote on who's going to get it, and we'll see how it's going to be. Because the rules are simple. You got to play the spice, and you got to, you know, what I'm saying perform with the spice. You don't have to win, you know. What I'm saying you just have to show up with it. And I think Beachy is playing pretty standard deck. I, th- I know that the winner side is playing a pretty standard deck. Splevin, on the other hand, that might be something that we might have to talk about. So it looks like we're gonna, the vote's going to be down between Splevin and Not So Fast, and we'll see mm-hmm. how that is. But we still have a Goat Grinder Invitational to give out. So that's going to be what these duels are playing for now at the at the onset as Beachy is representing Dog of the Day going on into Splevin here. So we're going to pull that up. They're hosting up right now. Let's see. Splevin mm-hmm. is pretty late over there in Italy right oh, he now. Dropped, I believe. Splevin dropped. Yeah, that's what the bracket says. Oh, well, damn. Okay, so OG Beachy and Arturo are going to be going. So we are now in the finals. We are no longer in Dogtown. 
Splevin had to drop. I kind of figured he would, you know, because it is quite late mm-hmm. over there in Europe. That's why I typically like to want to start trying to at least think about doing these things as a single elimination. So that way we can get more yeah. European players to play because these things do tend to go very long. Go format is one of the slower formats that I can think of. And the games take a really long time to play. And going for a double elimination starting at 7 p.m. Eastern, it's going to typically go to like 10 o'clock Eastern, which is like 3 a.m. or something, Italy, which is just not uh, which is not ideal to the European duelists. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think this is one of the shorter ones, to be honest. I played in it last week, uh-huh. and I got to the to the end, and it, I was like, I was playing Ivan at like midnight. Yeah, and as a so, as yeah, because some of uh, honestly, you bring up a great point. Is some of them like some of these Friday events? It'll be like two people, three people, and we'll vibe with. Yep. It doesn't matter if it's two people, we'll have it. It doesn't matter. Sometimes it'll be three people, four people. Sometimes it'll be thirty people, and it's like, what the hell is going on? Sometimes it'd be like 25 people. Like how, why is, why is there such a large disparity between that, that Friday 1 PM? I've seen like 30 people enter one of those, like almost as much as like a freaking Patreon on a Friday, on a, on a, on a, on a a Friday at 1 PM. And I'm like, okay, we got to figure something out. Why, why, why is this? Why does it be like that? But sometimes it's only like two or three. I thought this one was going to have like maybe eight or nine, maybe six or seven. Cause typically what we get on these Fridays, like eight to 10, like a local it's like a like a really small local and we just vibe dude it's chill yeah. it's really chill online local. Yeah, yeah online local yeah. come out there hang out with the hang out with the homies play some ghosts and kick it mm-hmm. this one we had 16 which is which is pretty good which is kind of what we uh what we want the nitro circuses are typically yeah. a little bit a little bit bigger just because you know people mm-hmm. like to uh showcase the spice and all that so it looks like we got hosting up from Bechi to arturo uh let's see if we can get arturo yeah. here Oh no! <laughs> let's see if we can get Arturo in here, and let's see if they're gonna play. And he said, "Give him a few minutes, and we're gonna lock in." All right. But as we often do, we're waiting on a few minutes. Let's go ahead and check out the Go Format Rated Dueling Ladder, and let's see what's cracking on this Go Format Dueling Ladder. I'm trying to find some names I don't recognize. I'm trying to find some duelists okay. that are out here playing. Are they playing? Are they? Are they in? No, we're gonna wait. We're gonna oh, wait. No. Oh, let's see. Oh wait. Uh, I like oh check it out. I like I like look at these names. I see Bobby Big Plays and Choco Roco. I gotta see what they're doing, right? Let's see what Bobby Big Plays is doing and Choco Roco. Oh, they're playing a turbo mirror. I'm about to get up out of here. I'm about to mm-hmm. get up out of here. Bobby Big Plays is big plans and chaos turbo. And we got a mirror and they're locked into it. And I gotta get out of here. I'm about to puke. And we got Solomon on Solomon. I'm about to throw up. Okay, this is not the grand finals. This is this is low there's level. A, there's a Mr. Helmet. It's a Mr. Helmet. Mr. Right. Helmet. Let me get Mr. Helmet. I gotta see Mr. Helmet. I wonder if they're actually yeah, I wanna see what's up with yeah, Okay, they just started. We got the ghetto traveler too. That's a cool name. So people got some really creative names. Mr. Mr. Helmet? I don't see him. Very oh, bottom? Mr. Helmet versus Ronnie Tsunami. Okay, I see it. I see Mr. Helmet out here. Just heavy into some goats. Hate that. That's a feels bad type situation. We're going to kick it here just for a little bit. Are they in? Let me know when y'all are in. I'll check. I'll, yeah, I'll check. Okay. I'll, I'll let you know. When okay. All right. <laughs> let me just... It said, uh... Yeah. All right. Okay. Going. All right, I think I think they might be in. He got it so heavy, then kill mm-hmm. all the guys with a sure. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Helmet, but he's not playing Warriors though, so that's a disappointment. That's a that's that, interesting. That's, that's a, a distraction tactic. Ronnie Tsunami on the reasoning type. I got to get out of here, dude. I got to get out of here too. I got to leave. I can't. The ladder is saturated with reasoning gate turbo. Mm-hmm. All right, and I think they're in. They're in. Okay, okay, okay. Yep. All right, so now here we are. Here we are. Grand finals. We're at the grand finals of them all. We have OG Betchy on the play. We have Arturo Svengali and OG Betchy playing for the the Goat Grinder Invitational. Both of these duels, I don't think they're playing the Spice. We can pull it up, and we'll check after this tournament. We'll pull up these decks, and I will showcase them here. So please, after this event is over, don't leave because I'm going to need your votes to determine who is the spice and who is not as we're going to continue to rock and roll as trap does shoot is going to be played on Arturo Svengali hit and shoot on the warrior player feels so good it feels mm-hmm. so good 
He's gonna. I bet she's gonna. Okay, we have. Ooh. Whoa, this is an interesting hand. Duo heavy, solemn, solemn, BLS. Sheesh! Coming in. And Heavy Storm is going to go ahead and get ripped into a jog and another trap does shoot. But damn, and it resolved too. That's a, that's a feels bad. <laughs> that sucks, dude. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to send back the PLS. Uh, that does suck. So hitting shoot on Warriors feels better. Double negging. That's a, yeah. that's a, I'd scoop. I'd get the hell out of here. I'd, I, I, I would. <laughs> I would. Especially with Duo too. I I scoop. I I don't. There's no no way in hell I'm finishing this game. This game. I'm going to the game too. Mm -hmm. I'm not playing this. Are you kidding? I just hit the head. So he hit the heavy into a jar into a second trap that shoot. That's a feels horrible. And then you're gonna get cleaned up with a breaker too. Yeah, I'd get out of here. I'm I'm on the game too. Game two. Game two. Game two. I've seen enough. Mm -hmm. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Two cards in hand. One one. Oh, he knows all the stuff too. That's just yeah. Get me the hell out of here. What is that sound? You guys hear? Are you guys hearing that? Some, I'm getting some feedback. I'm one of my kids. I don't know why the TV so loud. I can't hear. It. I can you guys hear that? If you guys hear it, let me know. I can just tell them to turn it down. Then they got that thing. You gonna go deaf? Sorry, I'm telling like somebody's dad here. Potter Green is a great one to kind of get this thing back. <laughs> kind of get this thing back into uh, back mm -hmm. into a, a a good position for you as you go ahead and chain MST. If this is another know, chain MST, wow, good tactic. Is this another freaking jar green? Oh my god, <laughs> dude, I can't take it, dude. I can't take it, dude. I can't take it. No, I can't take it. No, we can't take that away from me. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> need that? Oh, oh, God. Okay. And I got you. I got you. I need it, too. I'm about to have to spam this a few times. Because that just... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then you're heavy. And then, oh, my God. And then you're MST. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, then they break it to solemn. Oh, my God. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps it's incessant it just it keeps just, happening dude <laughs> like you heavy the jar oh, oh my. <laughs> okay. i'm the, i'm up, i'm up out of there dude i'm mm. gone i'm big time i'm already in game two right i'm already in game two i'm i'm probably already in game three right now i'm like no chance i'm continuing this on because you just nagged yourself into complete oblivion like it just sucks man it, i mean there's no fault to your own like you're trying to you're trying to play the game but you just like it just hurts, man. It feels bad. It just feels bad. But Betty, Betty is probably you know got, got smiling nicely, <laughs> just uh, you know not feeling not feeling too worried. Now we play duo. Okay. Okay. Duo might might nah, dude. I don't know. You might be straight though. And honestly, like I've played enough to warriors. The warrior deck sometimes they can get back in. A good hardy blade knight can just kind of run rampant. A nice timely Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, backed up by a Solemn Judgment, can kind of lock in and go ramp it. It can happen, man. I'm not giving up. Du Duo is kind of good here. You hit a good card. Yeah, it's, and we yeah. also du Arturo. I don't know. I don't like the roll the dice re-roll after rolling six. That is a bit of a. Oh uh, my god. Yeah, exactly. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, dude. I, <laughs> You don't have to roll. Just pick. It's not the vibe. It's not the vibe. Just pick. Just pick, just man. Pick. Trust your instinct. And then your duo, your trap does shoot. Can't even go off, dude. <laughs> Wait, why? Because you duoed. Why are you doing? Why are you duo then, man? You should have kept it. I don't get it. <laughs> just. He's slamming. He's just slamming. Oh, my God. <laughs> you should have kept that does shoot then. And then you, that's that's a situation where you're definitely going to want to yeah. does shoot first, duo second. Because you just killed yeah. your own card for no reason. You could have got that. Yeah. We vibe though. We chilling. We chilling. We chilling. We chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling, dude. We're chilling. This is all part of the plan. I am not worried. This is this is exactly God. flip faith, dude. Come on, man. Flip faith, dude. If I hit, oh, did he hit? Let's see. He hit, <laughs> he hit jar with heavy he, and jar with MST. I'd be disoriented. I would be yeah with yeah. Like I'm feeling out of sorts. Yeah, I'm sick. I'd be he's <laughs> yeah because yeah, he hit actually he, nauseous. No, because yeah. you you get hit with shoot. They get perfect information. You're on Warrior, so you're probably already not used to getting dust shot anyway. Hit you with the shoot. Yeah. You heavy, so they get the plus on the jar, and then they get the plus on the second trap dust shoot to send back your BLS. 
They summon Breaker, break your freaking solemn judgment, and then you MST yeah. another jar. I'm out of there. There's no way I'm finishing that. I'm gone. I'm like, okay, you got me. I, you, you beat me. You're the, you're the better duelist. You got me this time. Game two, because the further it goes on, and then you start, you know what I'm saying, duo before shoot, and you just, you then you get an MST, and you're just like, come on, man. I got to. It's all good, though. It's all good. You shake those off. You shake it off, mm-hmm. and you're back in. You you shake it off, and you're back in. You're in the winner's side. You got to lose twice. You're feeling good. You got a pretty good matchup. Warriors has a pretty good matchup against Turbo. You're going first. You're chilling. Just short term memory. Dump that one. Get on back into the next one, man. But that was that was just it's just it's just a it's just a big feels bad type situation. We've all been there. I'd be lying and saying if I hadn't been in the mm-hmm. in the in the, on spin cycle. You know what I'm saying? In the hurt locker. We've all been there. It's it's a it's a natural yeah. place. You know, you know, Arturo. You know, sitting in the winners' finals, feeling good, sitting, you know, a little bit, a little bit pretty, and uh, you know, sometimes you guys gotta need one game to to get back into it. That's it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been you've been hanging out for a little bit. Yeah, you've been kicking it. Let it get cold a little bit. Mm-hmm. I feel you. I'm kicking it. I, I I feel you. I feel you. I feel <laughs> you. I feel you. I can respect it. Much love. Much love. Again, much love. It's all love. It's all love, man. It's all love. It just, it just hurt. It just hurts. That hurts to see. It hurts to see. Oh my goodness! As we're still kicking it here, Arturo says, "One minute, please." Needs a quick break. Probably just a re. I don't hate that either. Just need a quick, yep. a quick time to just completely cold water on your face. Completely regroup. I don't hate that at all. Just com- completely regroup. Get your mind right. Get your body right. Get your, get your, get your stuff back together. And you don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't make hate a nice, it. Make a nice little omelet. Nice little omelet. Um, you know, <laughs> think about it. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. You know, I... Think about what you're. Think about what you're about to cook. You gotta <laughs> cook in real life before you can cook online. That's how it goes. Is that facts or cat? I I usually do. I usually do cook. Um, like before a Patreon. Yeah. Okay. I'll make it myself a nice little lunch. Yeah. A nice. That's a smart man. That's a that's a smart technique. I need to start asking duels that. What is your pre tournament regiment like? Are you like like cooking yourself a nice meal, is and then preparing yourself to cook. Some people like to fast. Some people don't eat at all. They like to keep their their gut empty, and keep their mind sharp, fasted. Mm-hmm. Because when you wake up in the morning, that's a fact. This is true. Try it. When you wake up in the morning. You're your most dangerous, dude. You're your you're your you're your yes. you're the most ready you're gonna be. But then when you yeah. start just putting food in there, food on the stomach, you start getting lethargic. Okay, you start getting a little lazy. Yeah. You start kicking your feet up. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't you can't get lackadaisical like that. <laughs> you gotta be sharp. So coming on in, sitting down, just hungry, slam you some H2O, get them electrolytes rocking, get the body moving. Sit down and you're ready to duel. Wait. Wake up on time. You're not sleeping through that alarm. No, 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 You're up. You're up. Some people, some people not so fast. Some people not so fast. Not so fast. He's a big, he's a cooker. He cooks before he cooks. He cooks. He sits down to some lean cuisine and then cooks. Maybe. That might be something. Because he'd be out here starving, dude. Because these tournaments, man, they don't stop, dude. You don't have no time to eat. Especially IRL. IRL, I just be out here starving, oh, dude. Wow. Hunger. Yeah. Stomach. I don't know how you held that Orlando stream down. You was... Dude, I'm built I'm built I'm built like that. I, I don't eat sometimes, bro. Yeah. I, my stomach was just goes in my back, dude. Stomach just in the back and in there. And I, I had a, yeah. food is a crutch, bro. I've gone years. Sometimes I eat once a day, twice a day. Food is a crutch. See I got these bag of flames right here. I don't need that shit. Get that shit out of here, dude. I don't need that. Get that shit out of here. Get that shit out of Food here. Food makes you weak. Food I is for the yeah. unknown fact. Yeah, Ar- Arturo might have to. Arturo might Arturo have. Arturo probably to... is making an omelet. He he probably listened to the stream. He's like, you know, Nova said to make an omelet. I'm gonna go do that. You know, start cooking. Arturo is probably like, but... okay, I, I gotta get my shit together. <laughs> Dude, if he just if honestly, honestly, and I honestly after that after that game, if he just dropped from the whole tournament right there and be like, look, I can't take this shit anymore. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, fair, I'm fair. done. I'm done with goats. I, my buddy told me about go for a mat. He said, I should try it. Format's ass. I'm out of here. That's probably what he's thinking. <laughs> That's probably... Yeah. A game like that will change your mind. Yeah. Absolutely. The game, a game like that will make you just really, really feel bad. And it, it sucks, though, man. Because I do that sometimes, man. Because I'm, you know, I talk to people 
and I'm out here and I'm trying to like promote Go For Man, talk about all the good things about Go For Man and like how you guys should play Go For Man and all these things. And then people like use me as like, hey man, I sat down to play and then this happened. I'm like, hey man, that happens sometimes. You know, you just gotta roll with it. It's like, bro, this keeps yeah. happening to me, man. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like, dude, yeah, I'm sorry, bro. And then they're like, I'm out of here, man. I'm so pissed. Fuck this. <laughs> I'm like, damn yeah. it. Dude. Yeah. But it's it. the Milano skit. I think it looked it up perfectly. <laughs> you just gotta, yeah, gotta roll. With but but honest, but of. but honestly though, but honestly though, real talk. Honestly, mm-hmm. sometimes they'll send me replay. And I'm like, oh, what about this? You did? Did you? I like you. You had. You could have done this. Why didn't you do that? Oh well. Oh, what about this? You could have did this and that and that and that. Oh yeah. See, but I didn't. Oh, but this you had the Ninja Grand Master. Why didn't you premature that and attack the the the, the GK spy? Oh man, I didn't even, I didn't even think about that. I see. I mean, you kind of people don't quick. People aren't quick to throw. You know, put their throws out there and their misplays out there. But they're quick to throw their sacks out there. It should be like a fifty yep. fifty exchange. It should be like okay, this amount of times I got sacked, this amount of times I got misplayed, yep. and then show them both at yeah. the same time. I think that's fair. Yeah, you gotta look back at what you've done with a level head and mm-hmm. just be like, all right, sometimes I did just get sacked, and um, I think that's the mindset Arturo is gonna have to to come with here. Hundred uh, percent in this game too, uh, as we special summon. As special summon. Addition of things. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I mean, uh, interesting tactic. Maybe that was a misclick. He said, "Have some connect, some, some connectivity issues, yeah. some connectivity issues." Maybe, <laughs> Or it could be, it could be just a, it could be just a false flag, dude. He could have put that out there to show the magician of faith. Set something else, dude. I know these games. I'm not, I'm not blind to the games, dude. Stand by, okay. Could be rocking it on mobile. <laughs> could be rocking it on mobile. It could be a mobile, a mobile warrior, dude. Possibly. Mm. And now, so this this game is, uh, this game is looking looking way better for Arturo here. Yeah. As you Absolutely. get as you get pot agree going first, you get the trap dust shoot, you reveal the magician of faith, and now you're chilling, dude. If you can get a good read on the hand, you get a good faith to a second pot, how do you lose? You're just cruising on mm-hmm. the victory. But we'll see how it goes. Mm-hmm. As we are into the standby phase, trap dust shoot is in the midst of resolving. Can't get a banishment here. As the hand is thunder. Then... <laughs> Think on Rezo. Oh, okay. Think on Rezo. Okay. We're trying to trying to see what they're gonna maybe got another sh- another shoot, perhaps. Yeah, yep. double shoot. Okay, so you're chilling here. Double shoot. Send the kinetic back to the deck. The hand is probably gonna be who knows. Send. I, mean, I guess all spell and traps because Betchy was just like Yeah. Flying out cipher. But yeah, so now you're now you're chilling here as a warrior player. You're you're comfortably seated in the driver's seat. You just gotta maintain your advantage and just cruise on to a cruise on to victory. OG Beach is gonna need some good cards quick to to stop this. To stop, I don't know what the rest of the hand is though, so it could just have full trend. Arturo's got his eyes, his eyes glued to Vecchi's hand, just can't look away. It's irresistible. <laughs> oh, oh, that, that's why. That's why. That's why it's irresistible. Oh, <laughs> damn, damn. Oh, um, this is it. Yeah, this is events. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm out of here, dude. Okay, so just it like, is, just like Arturo was out of there. Dude. Yeah, I'm gonna get some. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna get the, I'm get the. Oh my guys back, dude. I gotta get him back, dude. Yeah. I gotta I gotta get the oh my gods back, dude, because I'm out of here yeah. just the same way. Freaking, uh, I'm out of here just the same way Arturo was out of that last game. I'm yeah. definitely out of this game. Absolutely. Oh my god, dude, getting mind crushed is a is a pain, double dude. Double dust, you mind crushed. Double yeah. dust pot, double dust mine, trip. We're du- flip. Yep, we're gonna mine. Dude, <laughs> double double. Double pot, double shoot mind is just how do you lose? How do you lose? Like how you don't lose. I think you just go ahead and get the dub. This is gonna be a dub central right here. We're going we're going to a game three, folks. Honestly, a, a hand from the gods for Arturo. Um that is quite something. And you, you gotta take it, dude. You get yeah. the Duh. Is Betchy and Arturo just taking turns violating each other's hands? Yes, they're just destroying <laughs> each other. 
Yeah. They're taking turns yeah. just sacking the absolute piss out of each other, dude. It's like that sometimes. As we're going to play reinforcements of the army, Arturo's signal is just something's happening here. We got we might have to mm-hmm. figure out a way to get mm-hmm. the get the get the gas pedal going a little bit. Maybe find some some landline, get a Wi-Fi in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we might have to figure something out. I'm about to go back to some more cyberpunk, dude. I'm about to cyberpunk. We're going to rota for Don. Never mind. Don's going to put this a pause. Game, this game is cyberpunk. This game one and game two. No, 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 no. I was thinking. I was thinking. This game is making me think about how goat format is karmic. What goes around comes around. There's not a bigger illustration of this than the game one and two. It's karma. You give what you give what you get, dude. You take what you can get. You give sometimes. I don't know, man. It might be. It might be some karma behind it. And you set another card on the field before attacking into the magician of fate. A magician of fate goes in for three hundred. Magician of faith goes in for three hundred. <clears throat> man, and get the kinetic soldier back. Okay, was well, there a shuffle in there? Hopefully there was. I think there's another card drawn in between time. And now yep. we're going to go Kinetic so. Soldier smack on in to the Magician of Faith here. And it connects. Okay. So that's a good way to kind of start your comeback here. You get a clean mm-hmm. kill on a Magician of Faith with a Kinetic Soldier. You know that there's a Don's a Luke flip second Faith and you might have to just literally scoop because you're going to yeah. be dead. And it hits the ring of destruction. So you're still here. You're down a total of three cards right now. It's six to damn kinetic soldiers, main nemesis. Oh, and we flipped the dawn. Ooh, yep. Yeah, that's gonna be it's gonna be a get the hell out of here situation. Mirror force is what you need, and Sakuretsu is great. You need solemn here. Is... Yeah, he had the solemn oh, too. Yeah, this game's over. I have to do some unorthodox math. <laughs> you're, going, you're going to 69 50 something something 25 that nah, be, that's that's terrible dude i'm not even gonna try 34 75 34 75 plus tax dude yeah. this this warrior player i'm surprised uh he's, he's taking a long time <laughs> to get that uh, knocked out you should knock that out no problem yeah <laughs> One meal of the day has done great for me. I do it. I can do it. I can do it. I don't do it too often. I need to get back to that dis- that level of discipline. Like I said before now, like I'm an, I'm an older man now and I've gotten very soft in my old age. I used to be a hard ass dude, man. I used to be hard. Okay. And I could go one meal a day, no problem. And it was no issue. But now it's just like, I'm too soft, man. I'm trying to get back hard again. Pause. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. I'm trying to get. Don't please, please don't clip that out of context, man. You guys know what I'm talking about. Get the whole clip in there. Don't just talk about how I'm trying to get hard He's here. It. As it's going to be 34, 75. 75. There he goes. And then you get a smack <laughs> in. Six meals per day is the meta call. Six, six. Six small meals or just six full course beefy ass meals, dude. You're just sitting down and getting what you, dude, that's a lot of weight. I can't I can't eat that much. Six meals is crazy. Six meals is yeah, oh damn, and he got oh, the oh, let's, oh, yeah, get out. Let's oh, get out of here. Yeah. Get out of save just cool. save get the hell out of here, man. What are you waiting on? Get the hell out are of you here. He's running for a mill two, a mill two. He's milling a mill two. That's He's nuts. Milling. I guess that's fine. Oh, I would love for him to draw that uh draw that freaking thunder dragon. But I guess Ooh. mill two is good here. As you're able to yeah. mill and then get your banish on with Kaiko to go destroy. That's not the worst. I'm still never milling, dude. Only bad things come because he would have drawn, he would have drawn some mid ass cards and you would have just won. But now yeah. he's gonna draw Snatch Deal. You're gonna yeah. feel like the biggest idiot now in the history of the universe. Snatch your pot. Or okay. Or, yeah. okay. <laughs> I was about to say he's gonna draw Snatch Deal right here. You're gonna feel like the biggest idiot in the whole Spider Verse, dude. You're gonna be feeling so stupid. <laughs> in the whole in the whole land of cyberpunk yes and all of nova ethos. And all of nova ethos and all yeah. of the like, all of the king's realms do you're gonna all feel like the pacific an idiot. norwest <laughs> you're gonna feel so stupid you're gonna be like oh why did i do that he would have drawn his faith he'd have drawn a thunder dragon and i would have been sitting here absolutely chilling meal meal snatch deal and i'm an idiot mm. 
DVSV uh, says 10K calories per day. Hell yeah. What's your, uh, what's, when you stand up on that go format dueling scale, what's that bad boy tipping at? If you're eating 10K a day, you got to be sitting at a nice yoke 450, 475. Yeah. Dude, if I could, if I could eat 10K a day, I'd do it. I would have to work out so much and I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to be out here. I'm, I'm running just enough to survive already. 10K a day. Dude, I gotta be. That's that's that that's that workout. You on that Goku diet? Can't get busy with that. Yeah, actually, uh. <laughs> you're on that Goku diet. As we got a disconnect, back reconnect. On that Gigantes diet, you're gonna be picking up logs soon, enough, <laughs> yeah. for real. Oh no, you just wish you just wish you could. I've seen vids on what those diets look like. It just looks like a. I like eating. I'm a fat kid at heart, dude. I like eating. I like food, but I understand that I can't eat what I want because I want to maintain a certain level of health. But I'm jealous. Like there, mm. there are some guys who are like naturally like extremely skinny, high metabolism. They could just eat whatever the hell they want. They have an issue gaining weight. I've always been jealous of those guys. Cause I've always been like a huskier guy. Like I've always been, you know, chunkier or whatever. So I've always struggled with weight, and I always want to be like not, you know, whatever. So. I've, I've, I mean, so I just, I just, I just, I just don't do it, but I've always been jealous of dudes who can just like get out here and just get your absolute grub on 10 K a day would be phenomenal. And we're going to play the TT on the breaker, the magical warrior, as we're into game number three, this is game three. It's one and one. Mm -hmm. We got no a clean and no trend opening for both players, which already signals that it's going to be a little <laughs> bit more even than the first two games, which is a very high bar for how crazy the one side of those games were. But fair, yeah. it's fair. A little, a little, a little, a little bit more fair as we're still mm -hmm. sitting here. Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer is going to smack on into a Sakuretsu armor as both duels continue to just trade one for one. Mm -hmm. Typically, this begins to favor the warrior player ever so slightly as OG Betchy still hasn't found a card to plus yet. Never mind, he played Thunder Dragon, so that's technically a plus as we count that, continuing to go one for one. Steel, Sakuretsu armor is going to be blasted, but now we get an opportunity for the first plus of the game in the form of Donald Zalug, who's going to go ahead and try to get a quality rip. What are we taking here? Probably Thunder Dragon. Maybe not. What is it? It's another Sakuretsu third armor. Third Saku. That's a field bat. I'm trying to play around Heavy Storm. I don't hate it. Triple Saku Torrential is in the graveyard already. A lot of purple cards in there. No yeah, trap to shoot purple just cars, yet. Uh, yeah. MST is gone, so this Snatch Steel might have some legs. Sometimes Snatch Steel can get you a plus one as well. Two for one, typically how it goes down as Don's going to come on in. And yep, we get a two for one here as Don goes to the bin. Snatch Steel gets a plus value right back as the game state remains uh, f four cards and some thunder dragons to four cards total. <laughs> Groove, dude. Man, and now we got Rhoda again. So we're sending it. Rhoda for Blade, Rhoda for level two, Rhoda for Exile. Typically in these spots, is what you see. Maybe if you got some chaos, I'm bringing that Blade out. I need my Light Mon and I need it now as we'll see what's going to go down. But it's going to be level two instead. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's the not. Sakus are gone, so it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to send and Mirror Force. Over in the, uh, <laughs> the fourth battle trap. Dude, that's crazy, man. You got five traps, and we got the Nomen to cross out, just like they used to do it back in the day. You send. Mm. I like that play a lot. Sending in the uh, sending in the Mystic Swordsman, and then sending in the knock after after you get the Mirror Force pulled. But you're still down two cards to four you know that two of those are still going to be those thunder dragons so basically two to two right now as you've been able to uh equalize ever so slightly and you set another one just keep setting two of the options are already in the bin already mind control is another third option i'm gonna draw phase mind control i like it i like it mm -hmm. and it's you've been and it's been baited you've been jabated it's dude baited. it's a oh my god dude you've been jabated dude mm -hmm. And you're gonna summon the tribe infecting virus. Just trying to push. Slide. We're gonna slide him for 16. Just trying to push okay. for some damage. But maybe if you got and you hit the trap dust shoot here. Oh, we're gonna try to shoot. We're gonna hit it. Hit the trap dust shoot in the standby phase, sending back none other than 
the chaotic one. The chaos horse is going back to the deck, folks. So you know that there are two two TD. Yeah. You know there's two thunder dragons. Do you sack and swing, or do you just defense mode and get? Yeah, we're gonna sack and bump yep. coconuts here. Let me get after it. Mm -hmm. And if I don't hate yeah. Arturo's spot here, if you can just get to a Kaiku to go straight right now, you're vibing. But Ninja Grand is gonna have to do the trick as 1800 is gonna connect with OG Beachy's health. He needs a freaking Zumbira like yesterday. Where is the Zumbira's at? Where is your Zumbira the Darks at? Where is your freaking uh, uh, Berserk Gorillas at? As Ninja Grand Master is gonna be on the assault again. Spy is not bad here. You'll be able to stick around for a little while and you'll get another one mm -hmm. from your deck. And you'll get a second copy from your deck, and there and is the there's dog. The, there's, that's the big dog. <laughs> He's out. Now the Bet question you is: to come through Dogtown. Only fitting that you know, the dog himself is featured. He presents himself into attack position, mm -hmm. cleaning up. Gets a little, another little plusky, and you're gonna set one. Now Beachy's got a decision to make. Do you yield mm -hmm. your defensive position with these GK spies and try to pressure, or do you just say pause and continue to? continue to hold out you'll go half in the bag and you'll just do a little yeah. one a Makes little a little one and done smack on in for 12 you don't hate that set another mon onto the field and defense position blade knight is still pretty good here if you can find one exile force not bad either not, go, not the worst. going after the set you needed to be faith here to make it worth a damn third spy oh i don't like it I don't like it. Vechi's been Vechi's been baiting OG OG bait OG bait she OG bait. Hey, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. That's a good one. That's a good I, one. I've, I've played him before. He he is very very. He's baited the hell out of me so many times. Guy's a very very strong player. OG um, baity. I had to had to add that one in there. That's pretty good. That's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, you know. I, I, <laughs> I don't. I don't know how you're on these these <laughs> Patreon streams for like seven hours and still come up with original jokes. Mine, I could already feel my mind descending. No, into no, 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 squalor. no. That's what. That's what you got to do. You have to. You have yeah. to let it go. Like people come in mm. and they try true, to. True, true. They try to. They try to. The is, The issue is you have to just be your own self. You have to just let it go and let yeah. it fly. Let the let it fly, and then you can maintain mm. for eight, mm. nine, ten hours easily. If Wise you, words. If Wise you just, words. if you just, because you're trying to not let it fly, not be your own self, you're gonna, mm -hmm. you're gonna run out of steam because you're gonna, you're, you're pretending. You know what I'm saying? You're, gonna, you're, you're acting for 12 hours. You're gonna be burned out. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. And I think people appreciate more than anything genuine personalities. Yeah. So you know, we that's rock. gonna come. That's gonna come to the forefront. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's that's why that's why people <laughs> love your streams so much because you just. Like, towards the end and you're just like you're rocking it you're all day it. oh yeah and i love tuning in towards the end yeah and now we got call in the battle phase here so we can get another sneaky oh no kaiku is the kaiku is the man dude kaiku is the man and you're going to clean up the gk spy get that serp out of there if you want mm -hmm. or maybe some light and darks I'm, I'm taking that serp every single time got to get that guy up out of here absolutely he gotta go absolutely. he gotta go dude he gots to go and we're gonna take thunder and we're going to take Thunder Leave Serp. He got to go, dude. Serp got to go. Because he got another Thunder Dragon in his hand. Like, what are we talking about? He's going to just throw it out at any moment. Like, he got to go. He got to go. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. It is what it is. It is what it is. As we're going to still kick it here in the first main phase. And now look. Look what you. Look at you. Look what you did. Look what you did, man. Oh, he didn't even pitch a cert. He didn't even get he the cert was, back. He's gonna double down. He, he didn't even get down. so Betchy said, you know what? I don't care. Maybe he thought the cert was going. I don't know why Betchy didn't get the damn cert yeah, back. Yeah, that was interesting. He could have got the cert. Wasn't and, any it, reason to play around Dust Shoot, right? Yeah, he didn't have enough cards, I don't think. I'm mm -hmm. tripping. It's late. It's late. We out here vibing, dude. We're it's late mm -hmm. and we're vibing. But he definitely could have got that cert back and got another quality discard out of there. So now if he goes Kaiku number two, you're gonna feel like a rue because he gets to surf in your last light. You damn it. You're gonna feel bad. Get you got it. <laughs> As you go he ahead. Declares <laughs> he declares <it. laughs> Dude, declare surf is funny. Little, declare surf is little, funny. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like it. 
a little passive aggressive toward himself uh, i would do something similar yeah, yeah. <laughs> i i can i can i can get down with that i get down with that as he, as he tactically forgot it that last time never punish it's all good you got kite got tribe infecting virus are you gonna throw an attack in there you're thinking about it here as you go ahead and put the zombie of the dark into defense position and smack on in for 16 but we're gonna ring that You're going to ring that and then pass it over. I don't hate that ring either because that thing was just getting worse and worse and worse as the turns yep. were going by. As DD Warrior Lady now is going to be able to easily clean up this Zombire of the Dark for free. Straight out of Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> Cyberpunk. Right out of the, right out of the, You're right. And it's got the Dimension Gate in the background. This play right here yep. pisses me off so bad. I hate it so. As Breaker, Pop, and then Banish. I hate it so much. It happens so mm. often, dude. As you're going to go ahead and hit him with a breaker on the DD Warrior Lady. Banish itself. You don't care because you already got plus out of it anyway. And then you're going to smack on in for 1,000 before passing it back on over. Arthur is sitting at 800. You need a good quality unit here. And you just set one onto the field in the face of the Ferocious Sangin Regeki break. Yeah. And we're going to a reset, folks. Mm -hmm. We're resetting. We are resetting here as... We, as I, you know what I'm saying? We were, oh, why'd I, why'd I leave? Damn it. They're just resetting. They're just playing again. They're just playing again. And we're yeah, going to, why, why? I think, does our trophy think it's over? I, I left. Did Vichy, did, are they still in? They left. No, they both left the duel. They said GG. And then <laughs> they, they both left the they duel. They got to play again. So, unless, uh, unless somebody yeah. is scooping, they have to play again. Yeah. Um, because yep. this is the, uh, the, the double elimination. We thought about doing single elimination this time, but we, we opted not to do that. So we're going to stick double elimination and they should be hosting up to play the rematch, the run back, if you will, unless they, unless they both decide, Hey, I I'm done and just give one of them, give it to the other. Let's see. I'm going to text him real quick. Mm -hmm. You guys have to run it back. They have to run it back because that was a reset. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, hearts. All right, so they should be coming back here soon. Ah, uh, he was on mobile. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. That, that checks out. One moment, please. Okay, okay. He's switching to a computer, folks. And just like you guys can switch on over to your alternate account and hit the like button on that one, too. Switch to yeah, your... Yeah, <laughs> that. Mm -hmm. that one checks. Mm -hmm. That one checks. See? That one checks. <laughs> that one checks. S tier. S tier. <laughs> Zachary Heater. Are you the Zach? Are you the Zach from the Discord? Zachary. Are you that? Oh, we got two Zacharys in the chat right now. Which... Are, are any of you Zachary's the Zach from the Discord? You know the Zach I'm talking about. There is a Zach who plays the Friday 8 p.m. events and um they're always saying hey we need to get more nitro circuits at 8 p.m they're always at 1 p.m you guys are always hating on the 1 p.m you guys are always sucking the 1 p.m <laughs> and then you're hating on the 7 p.m like why i need more support for the 8 p.m i need more support for the 8 p.m and here i am full support for the 8, 8 p.m and zachary didn't show up and that just that's that's unforgivable unforgivable all right we you ask for support you ask for support get support and you don't show up I hate to see it but you're still here though if that's you zachary heater i doubt i don't know if that's you or not or zachary adler one of the zacks from the discord shout out to both of the zacks shout out to all the zacks out there k's mm -hmm. ch's don't Absolutely. matter if you're a ch if you're a k if you're zachary if you're zachathy you know what I'm saying? whatever zach you want to be shout out shout out to uh shout out to all of you as Arturo is going to be in the red corner this time. OG Betchy's going to be holding down in the blue corner. That typically never happens. I, I like that, though. A little switch. A little switch up. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> That's not me. I played GOAT back in the day and picked it up with some locals in Maryland. Oh, you got a Maryland homie in the chat. Shout out to, okay. shout out to Maryland. Okay. As, Ar DMV. as Arturo is like, okay, guess what? Time for me to sack again. Back on the sack train with a pot of greed mm -hmm. into a graceful charity. Mm -hmm. Pitch DD Warrior Lady. And what is the second pitch going to be? His torrential tribute. DT. Oh, and whoa, whoa. This is a, this is a certified classic. Are we doing it? One more? We're going full whopper, <laughs> dude. We're going full, full. Whopper, let's get a like for oh, full Whopper. Oh my God, he has, he's, he said, he said two grave on the dust shoot. Bro, uh, 
Let's get it. Let's get a. Let's get a. Oh or yeah. a full whopper, dude. Sad violin for Betchy. That's tough. That's such a. That's such a. That's such an. That is such a tr trash. I hate it, dude. I hate getting whopper, dude. Turn one, cause you know the shoot's coming. You know some songs are down there, and you know you just like, okay. Oh, but <laughs> <is nuts. laughs> okay, but you got the heater though. Both of these duelists, like you said, okay. they just been sacking the piss out of each other, dude. Give me a chance. We, we, yeah, we have entered into a bountiful amount of Trinity in the Elysium out here. But actually. But if uh if if we got a series of solemn judgments, man, you might be hurting. Okay, but no, there's gonna yeah. be pot of greed. It resolves without delay. Let's see if he spams his charity on through to. Oh wow, so Betchy is oh, second too. Oh. Okay, both of these duelists are clearly running some some rom hacks on their dueling book, dude. I need to talk to their. <laughs> I need to talk to their shuffle yeah. dude. I don't never draw this Ooh. good. Emulate and okay okay I, I, yeah I, checks out. I don't hate it. Good hold. Mm hmm. A second, uh, a second shoot would be hilarious if you can manage that. Sorry, I don't know why I shot. Lying in, lying in wait. <laughs> that was that was just you know <laughs> hiding behind the thick brush through uh, Flem. <laughs> so wait, and Archer was waiting with it. shoot, but he doesn't have it. And Tiberius asks, so what's the spice in the grand final? There is absolutely, this spi this finals is bereft of anything I would even consider remotely spice. It's not, mm -hmm. okay? It ain't it ain't in this. So these duels are playing for the Goat Grinder Invitational invite. They are not playing for the spice from the Nitro Circus, yeah. unfortunately. This this isn't table salt. This is just table. This is not even, yeah, this is, this is not even a dish. Like, we're not even at the restaurant. We're, we're in the car. Yeah. Like, we're, we haven't even got we're a menu. <laughs> we haven't even, we haven't even got a menu yet. This is, this is lack of seasoning. Okay. This is, this is yeah. like yeah. standard. You know, this is, this is no, no, there's no spice. In the car with the family. Does that place look good? I don't know. <laughs> let's, let's kind of look at the menu. No, they're, um, they're on their cell phone I'm looking at the us. star. How many stars yeah. does it got? Oh, it's got a, it's got exactly. a 4.6 out of Yelp. All right. We can go check that out. That's where they're at. That's what these decks are. Mm -hmm. Zero spice. No cook. Exactly. Mind exactly. crush is pretty cooked. No cook. Mind crush is cool. That's main deck mind crush too, by the way. Did he hold? Did he? He held. That's a hold on the crush. Don't have oh, it. Said... You don't have moth? Did you send the moth back? I return standby phase, your spot, and you don't have moth? What's going on? Wallace, you had moth. What is going down? So it looks like we got a trap that shoot, mind crush situation. He saw your hand, and then he, no way he saw your hand and called a card you didn't have. I think, unless unless there was miscommunication that um, Arturo wanted to return moth. Oh, yeah. Our Artur a different card. Nah, he 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 just fucking fucked up. Oh, oh yeah. Damn. Bro. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I'll be back. I gotta take a break, dude. I kinda I will be right back. Okay, I'll hold it down, sounds good. And then he has to pay the penalty for Mind Crush, which means he goes he he negs by discarding Kaku. Nights way too long. Yeah. Yeah, these duels have been out here for hours. This tournament started three hours and twenty-two minutes ago. Um, you know, but this blade line, <laughs> blade line, blade knight is still up, rocking into a spy, which Beachy has to be feeling all right about. Uh, Blast with chain would go crazy here. Just saying, um, that's one of the main conclusions we've reached from today's tournament is that Blast with chain is is, is pretty crazy. Um, here we're gonna go a uh, roll five and not click roll six not click hate to see it hate to see this Pui where are you at okay um, main deck mine cotton we are not feeling too bad about that and the serp Beachy is Dang, man, that sucks dude oh my oh, god oh god okay I'm back I'm back I'm back I'm back we good we good all right we're chilling man it's Friday dude it's Friday man you get them you get them you get them you get that them them vodka tonics rolling. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. You get the yeah. you get the you get the you get the uh you get the Jack and Cokes rolling. You feel me? Nice. You get you get little, some little ice. Some ice. ice some, no some, ice. Some ice. Some ice. You get the wine the wine coolers are rocking, dude. 
<laughs> and next thing you know, you dust shoot, send the card back, and then call it, dude. And that sucks, man. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, we did see, uh, yeah, so the mine crush was misplay, which means Arturo had to send his own Kaku oh, from the right. sand to the graveyard dude. as a penalty. That feels um, so tremendously horrible, dude. That's a feels bad. Mm-hmm. That's a that, 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 that turns a good feeling to a bad feeling real quick. Mm-hmm. Dang, you just yeah, get, get the, the just get the hell out of there, dude. That's a who scooped up? The beachy scoop up? Who scooped up? Snatch is GG, GG. Yeah, that's rough, dude. That's rough, dude. He knew it. That's rough, dude. I don't I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna. You know what I'm saying? People fuck up, dude. Play, mm-hmm. Players, uh, players fuck up, dude. This is not this is a night shift, dude. This is late. You know what I'm saying? You probably got Friday. You just got out of work. You got them. You got them. Doctor Pepper. Them. Them. Comment. You got them. You know what I'm saying? You got you got the wine coolers rolling, dude. You got mm-hmm. the you got you got the, the the margaritas are rolling in. That happens, dude. Feeling a little feeling a little too loose. <laughs> oh wait, Arturo is listening to stream confirmed 4:24 a.m., which means he's in Central European time. Oh yeah, that's okay. Okay, so you're that's, you're that's yeah. Croatia. Oh, it's Croatia. Okay, okay, okay. It's four twenty-four. Okay, okay. Do we have any Croatian players? Uh, I I know I know we have some we have some Serbian players. We have some Bulgarian players. I don't know if we have any Croatian players. Shout out to first. Shout out to Croatia, dude. Right on, go world. Yeah. And again, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to make fun of anybody because people make mistakes literally all the time. That's literally mm. a part of the game, you know. And honestly. That is what separates like good players and great players and bad players and good players is literally the amount of mistakes that you don't make versus mistakes that you do make. I make a ton of mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. I'm sure you make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. But yeah. if you can, oh my god, I made mistakes today. I made like seventeen. Yeah, yeah. You just, you just you just vibe it out. Do you just take it? You you vibe and you send it on over, dude. And you keep playing. So I don't want to make so, fun of anybody or talk. Oh, this guy sucks and that's trash and this. Uh, bah, bah, bah. I'm not trying to do all that. But I'm just saying, it just it just sucks. It's funny yeah. that that it just funny. It is funny that that happened. Yeah. But it sucks that it yeah. happened at the same time. As we're gonna go ahead and hit the yeah. breaker for a TT for a plus one on the breaker anyway. Still got his man. As you get uh, plus value into a pot of greed. Let's see if you let that go through. Pot of greed will resolve without delay. Five back row turn one barf and puke. No dust shoot though. So hey. not. Not as bad he had, as he had to TT. He had to TT the breaker too, so that's a feels that's, that's a true. that's a feels feels bad type situation. So there's got to mm-hmm. be some good cards, but just not some great cards. As reinforcement army is one of those cards, play from the floorboard coming down from the spell trap zone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Coming up from the depths, the depths of despair. Donald with swords. Don always gets his man. He's going to get a car as it's going to be the soccer red suit going one for one. Set another car onto the field before passing it on over to Betchy, who got a resolved pot and up a car. Yep. Going second. Yep. You don't hate it. Mm-hmm. Don't hate it. Don't hate it. Don't hate it. What would you rate it? <laughs> don't hate it. Mm-hmm. Like, like that. Bars, dude. And second rota. Mm-hmm. So let's see what we grab this time. With Rota activation number two, it is the little guy. Mystic Source in level two comes forth from the deck into a premature burial. So we're going to oh, get a little aggressive. Yeah. Okay. John Doe says Denko Seca should be legal in goats. Denko Seca. Denko Seca. Do I know that? Is that an Edison card? Does is Denko Seca? I never heard it. Denko Seca. Denko Seca. Denko. What does it do? What does it do? Denko. Go Seca. Dude, this car looks fire, dude. It looks cool. It's hell. I like this. I like this. <laughs> I like this look. What does it do? What does it do? What does it do? Danko Seca. Reminds me of a uh, of Getsu Fuma. Kind yeah. Of. Um. Same vibe. Same vibe. Same. Probably the same timeline. As De- Denko Seca says, cannot be special summoned while you control no set spell trap cards on the field. Neither player can set spell trap cards nor activate spell trap. That is too mm. strong, dude. That's like a, a mm. walking cold wave. Are you kidding? I don't think that card would be. Yeah. That's too good. That's like a cold That's wave crazy. on legs. That's a very strong card. That goes and it's light mm-hmm. too. Are you insane? Yep. Who said that? Who's dude? That card be that card cannot be uh, played and go for me. It's too strong. 
Yeah, Dave, Dave, Dave Human in the chat so it just says no. Just says no. <laughs> just nothing. Yeah, that's that's too that's too strong. There's no chance that car can get in. It's too strong. And it's light too. And it looks cool. I'd play the hell out of this car. It looks awesome. What format is this from? This is not an Edison format car. It's too strong for Edison format too. What format is this? What year did this come out? Uh do 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 I don't know. The uh, chat is chat is strong right oh. now. We have Dave Hume, the Steingate man himself. We have Yo. Jinzo Dude Nine. Yo, Steingate. it came. It's like 2014. Okay, that seems that seems about that seems about right. That seems about right. It's uh, it's too it's too good for Edison and Goat, I think. As you got the little dude still up and active, forcing the damn. Gravekeeper spy to attack. You just love this if you're the warrior player. You love sending the flip monsters trying to attack the Mrs. Sub level two. It is Shadal Shadal uh, BA format. Okay, okay, yeah, it's, it, that car would. Oh, that, in VAs, that yeah. car goes. Does it go crazy in VAs? I don't know. It would destroy. Oh, so you had to play the solemn here to keep that said? damage because that would be a lot of damage. Um, and you got BLS oh. as well for the follow up. Could this be it? Could this be the end of the night? This could be it. Oh, hey Zeus, his name is Hey Zeus. Yes, <laughs> bro, I wanted to say that. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> sir. <laughs> yes, I'm here. And GGs. So that's going to be a GGs all around. OG Bechi is going to take it and get some rest. Arturo's going to get some good sleep, man. Get some yeah. rest as both of those dudes play very good for, for the for the night. Mm -hmm. But Arturo just clearly showing some signs of fatigue. And it's just unfortunate mm -hmm. that these duels are going to have to take place at the times that they do because this is like a American base time zone kind of thing all right but before we go anywhere don't go home don't touch that dial stay here keep it mm -hmm. locked in we're not going bonus anywhere concept. we got bonus bonus match again shout out to og betchy but i'm gonna pull your deck up mm -hmm. we're gonna show it we're gonna show them all we're gonna show them and uh i can go and tell you right now og betchy's deck is not spice i'm a i'm i'm just gonna throw that out there um <laughs> but we're still gonna show it because he did win and we're gonna rep it we're gonna rock and roll it and see what is going down okay 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 so this is going to be the deck that just won the uh the the goat grinder uh the goat the goat grinder Shh, what is happening dude my system just all right so here it is i don't know if you guys can see that okay let me let me fix my system dude my system is just out of whack okay okay all right i knew that's gonna happen round two we're gonna try that again high resolution deck list why is it doing that? Like computer, I updated my computer one time and it just decided like, I'm gonna do what the hell I wanna do. I'm not asking you to do that. Respond to me, machine. Cyberpunk has taken over. Can you guys see this? Cyberpunk <laughs> has taken over. Cy Cyber, all right, here we go. This is, this is a little bit better. All right, so here it is right here. This looks, I love that fusion deck, by the way. That's a cool little fusion deck you got there. I mean, this is just the most chaos turbo deck that you can just be very regular, very standard. What do you guys think? All right, votes are in. What do you guys what do you guys think? I'm sorry, my computer is just on its own. Let's move it over a little bit. Can you guys see that? Anything? I got main deck mind control, triple jar. All right, we're gonna go uh we're gonna go no spice. Yeah, this is this is a no spice. No spice. Let's see if I can get a mm. let's go. No. We we don't do that, guy. No. No, sir, I don't like it. All right, we gotta yeah. sorry about that. Sorry about that. All right, so OG Bitchy, shout out to you. Cool deck, cool game. Glad you played. But no spice, dude. No spice not detected. All right, going on. To the looking at the menu. <laughs> looking at the menu in the restaurant. All right, we got, <laughs> the deck. We got the, next, the next deck. We have a duel that goes by the name Arturo. Arturo oh, Svengali. Arturo. Let's see in what... The chat says, wine did its work. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so he was sipping a little bit. He was sipping. You can't be yeah. sipping and dueling. Yeah, you, can't, nice. you can't feeling be... Nice. You, Arturo, you, if you listen to me still, you can't be sipping and dueling. All right? You got to sip or duel. You can't sip and duel. All right? That's... You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna screw yourself over. All right, so Arturo's got a little bit of spice here, but still, I don't know. This is cool though. Triple shoot, tr double mine, triple. What did he cut here? Something had to get cut. Something good, because you're playing a lot of stuff that you don't normally. There's no That's dust cool. tornadoes. There is no something big is out, not in his deck. Knox is here. What am I missing? Uh, hmm. It's something cool, man. There's no snatch. Where's your snatch deal? That's oh, Snatch Deal's here. Okay. What am I missing? There's something missing in here because you're playing a lot of cards. That I don't know. It's cool, though. This is cool. This is cool. What are we thinking out here? What are we thinking out here in the uh, in the YouTube space? What are we thinking? 
what are we thinking? He cut Mirror Force. Okay. No, Mirror Force no, is here. That's, that's <laughs> Mirror Force is here. Something got cut. All the all the staple. The, I just think it's too is it too uh, no, what am I missing? Something is missing because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He got eleven spells. He just got more traps and cut yeah. a few more mons. No spirit. Uh, he's got it's something. He got I don't know, this thing's cool. I like it. I don't know. Maybe just some dust tornado or something. Okay, that's it. It looks good. Is this is a good deck? He's got the mind crow. Is that enough spice? Is that enough spice? What are we thinking out there? Is this enough? Is is that enough? No main dust shoot is mid. He's got triple dust shoot and mind crush. He's going full crush shoot over here. No main dust tornado. You mean? Okay, this deck is pretty cool. I like it. I like it's mayo. This is mayo. This is mayonnaise. Mayo spice. Not enough. Yeah. Okay. Style after has said that this is they, this is may, like pure mayonnaise. Okay, so we got mayonnaise in the chat. That's what this is. Mayonnaise ain't gonna cut it. So I'm gonna have to hit that with a with a with a big old. I'm sorry. And through the restaurant like or to the appetizer, but that's oh, about it. All right. No. <laughs> No, sir, I don't like All right, so we got a, we got a, we got a, we got another no spice here. All right, so the next one we have is going to be um do 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 do. do. This is going to be Splevin. I think uh, Splevin, but he had to drop for an event, but still we're going to show him some love in here. Even though I don't think I can give Splevin the award cuz this is not Splevin's deck. Okay, this deck is cool though. This I'm not I might not be able to give it to Splev cuz Splev borrowed this from uh, another do What's going on with this computer? Come on computer. Fix yourself. Fix your face, computer. Let me close this one time. Good grief, man. If I could just... If you guys could just let me live. Okay, this computer just don't want to let me live, huh? This computer don't want to let me live, huh? This is some BS, dude. I swear. I swear I'm going to lose it. Look at this. I updated my computer the other day. Or this... No, today, actually. And it just started doing things that it never it's never done before. It's just so frustrating. Look at this. This is disrespectful. This is this. The, the computers have taken over. Okay, but you guys can see it a little bit. As I will open this. Let's get this back. Open this. And oh my goodness, dude. Can I just drag this over here? How about that? How about. Good God. Look at this. Look what it's. Look, what, look how it does me, dude. Look at. Look what it's doing to me. Can you guys see this? Can you guys see this? I think this might be good enough right here. Somewhere like this. This is the deck. It's like an Earth Cat deck. I think it's cool, man. I think this deck is cool as hell. Uh, this is the deck that Bluetooth is has. Gorilla Theory? The Gorilla. Just one Gorilla Theory on this one. But okay. this is the deck that Bluetooth has been kind of playing. As my computer is just literally like convulsing right now. I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> <laughs> like convulsing. Convulsion of nature. Yeah. All right. So I'm going I'm to yeah. I'm I'm minimize this and try to unass my computer real quick. If I can uh, find where the. Dude, I'm gonna have to just shut the whole thing off, dude. I don't know what the hell is going on anymore. I'm, I am, I am lost. Now goes you win the spice award. I am for this. lost. <laughs> Jadies, you right. win it for the spicy layout. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. All right. So, what do you guys think about that? Konami is holding me down. What do you guys think about that one? Is that one is that one good enough? But I, I I'm a buy. I'm a biased person because I'm trying to tell you right now. I got to see what's under the hood on this next one. I'm a. We're gonna hold our votes. We're gonna hold them because I got to see what this next one is right here. I have to see what the hell is under the hood that not so fast has cooked up for this tournament. I have to, as not so fat, not so fast. I'm, who is quickly becoming like a spice lord and all on all definition. Oh my goodness! Look at this freaking thing. This thing is a mess, dude. And look at the freaking fusion deck that this duel is elected to roll with too. Let's see if I can get this thing to open up without shutting my whole life down. And no, I can't, apparently. Look at this, dude. Look at this freaking... Look at this computer, bro. Like, why is it doing this? Okay, that's better. All right, here we go. This is what it is right here. This is what it is right here. So we have... I don't even know what the hell to make of this. It's three spell cancels in there, folks. That's a triple triple spell Whoa. cancel. <laughs> dude, look at this thing, dude. Look at this thing. If I can move it over a little bit. Let's get it over. What do you guys think of this? Let's look at this freaking deck, dude. Wait, does he... Dude, <laughs> look at this thing, dude. Look, I like the I like the the fusion deck as well. Got triple thousand eyes restrict that are. He's playing two spell cards, bro. This is wins. Like, oh, not even this is this wins, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's gotta be it. This has gotta be it, dude. I'm sorry. He's got pot and dude. Imagine, yeah, ima imagine. Imagine entering a tournament and this is what you bring in. 
Dude, this, I mean, this wins, right? I mean, what do you get? Like, this wins, right? He went three and two. Like, that's insane. <laughs> three and two? Three on what? Three? He's got magic cylinders there, too. Just to protect the spell cancer. I don't hate that. And three wins, two losses. Like, 60% win rate. <laughs> dude, he's beating people. Two spells. Yeah. Just two. Yeah. Dude, this is nuts, dude. Not so fast. You cooked. I got to give it to him. I, I'm giving it to him. This, he's winning. He's giving. He's getting it. All right, so... No vote required, dude. I'm giving it to not so fast, man. Even though Splevin did play a cool deck, that wasn't Splevin Spice though. I love Splevin's my teammate and friend, but I'm sure he. If you see this deck, I might have to try it. We might have to try this on the channel or something, dude. We might have to do something with this. Yeah. This is just too hilarious to me. This is, I, I have no words. <laughs> I have no words. But this is what we're gonna give it to, folks. This is what we're gonna do. I like it. I like it. I like it. But okay, okay. But that's the tournament, man. Thank you all for coming out and hanging out and 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 chilling with us. And Nova, thank you for dropping in and saying hello and being in the booth and and vibing with the operation, man. Michizure in the side, and mask of weakness, and royal pressure. Like I can't look at this anymore, dude. This uh, you guys didn't even see the side deck. Never mind. We're not going anywhere. I gotta pull this thing back up again. Look at this thing. Yeah. <laughs> dude, look, he got the Michizuri in there. He's got the Reckless Greed, the Royal Oppression. Dude, it's just so much spice, dude. This is like, this is like literally like some straight up mm -hmm. ordering some, like some, mm -hmm. some behind the counter, super yeah. Indochine freaking dude. Yeah. No. It's 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 bad. This is next level. This is some hot curry in your face situation, right? Here. He went he went into his his friend's grandmother's house and you know just asked her nicely, you know, what do you got? <laughs> and she gave him that deep recipe from long ago from the old country, yeah. dude, and hooked him up. And That's he rolled so out. Dude. <laughs> Dude, I've never seen anything like this before in my life, dude. This is crazy. All right, but that's what I. That's what I. Uh, this is this is going to win. I'm going to pay out not so fast. Probably tomorrow when he when he wakes up, and then we will get that thing resolved, man. But literally, thank you all for coming out and kicking it with us. Yeah. For kicking it with us uh, on the stream. Thank you, Nova, for dropping by and being a part awesome. of this. Thank you guys for rocking goats on this Goat Friday. Uh, this weekend, we're going to be doing some worlds planning. There are a lot of things happening in the next coming weeks. So, uh, PWCQ number forty. Six, I believe, is going to be on October the 8th. So if you want to play in that event, go ahead. Sign up should be opened up as soon as it comes around. And then if you're going to be playing those last chance qualifiers, if you are a competitive player and you want to go to the Go From That World Championship, your opportunities are running out. The last chance qualifiers can be a good way for you to get in there. It's going to be 20 for the first one. There are paid to enter events. It's going to be uh, 20, 20 dollars for the first one 10 for the second one and if you play in the first two you can get in the third one for free uh invitations to the go format world championship will be given out i think we're just going to do one uh maybe i can talk to scully and maybe we can get one for 32 on that one too just to max it out and get as many people playing because all of that money from those last chance qualifiers will find its way into the prize pool for the go format world championship just to bolster that and make it a spectacular event so um with that that's all i have man thank you all for rocking with us again um i'm jdz I play goats until the next time. Shout out to all the real ones. That's every single one of you. Salute to the OGs. Peace out.